shot a wall. Bear with me one second. It's out here booming today, man. Got this North Carolina UNC Chapel Hill versus South Carolina game today. There's a lot of people out here, man. So excuse the noise. We'll get rolling in one second. All right, bear with me. Check the feed real quick. Shalom out there. Hey, Shalom, my brother. Yeah, I'm gonna see myself the thigh. All right, bear with me one second. We'll get get rolling. We're gonna bring it out. All right, we're in there, man. Hey, Shalom. Before I get started with this live camp. We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, the Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone on top of this truth. Double salutations to our Yoakim out there laboring in the house of David, the elect, is pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom to the elect out there, man. All you sincere believers in Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, the Kapodash. All right? So we're going to get right into this thing. It's all the Spirit. All right, it's time to repent. It's time to, to turn back to your creator, to your power, all right, who is the God of Israel, the, the God of the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, all right? Because as we've been warning you time in and time out, we're telling you, man, that none of these other idols that you believe in are going to be there for you in the time of, uh, uh, of judgment, man, in the time of destruction and when all hell breaks loose throughout this, uh, uh, this society here. Matter of fact, let me get something real quick, all right? It's time to, like the scriptures tell us in Isaiah 52, it's time to put on your strength now, right? For those who have the ability, the, the, uh, the discernment to see what's going on in the earth, man, right? Everything is time sensitive when it comes to the prophecies, when it comes to you turning back to your uh, to your creator, man. Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, the power of all heaven and earth. Let me get this real fast, right? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 4. And it reads, it says, It's concerning, therefore, the things like you. As concerning, therefore, the eating of those things that are, of, that are offered in sacrifice unto idols. We know that an idol is nothing in the world and that there is none other but one. All right? The one true power. Verse 5. 1 Corinthians 8 and 5. It says, For though there be, for though there be, that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be gods many, and lords many, right? There's many, there's many different idols, there's many different gods, man. But there's only one true power, right? So when they say, in God we trust, right? What God are you talking about? See what I'm saying? Because we live in a society, we live in a kingdom where they exalt Satan, man. Satanism is, is, is uh, 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 pushed, all right? abomination all right demons okay that's what's pushed throughout the society this is why as we go into this is why babylon is about to be judged this is why the society is in this current condition this is why people are in a spirit of error as it tells us in isaiah the 19th chapter man it said that the people err in every work thereof <laughs> right but that all contributes back to what the plagues of the lord that he sent upon babylon man all right these people are being reserved unto fire, the judgment, right? Read it on, or read this, this verse again. 1 Corinthians 8 and 5, for, for though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, there be gods many and lords many, all right? But only one true power, let me, let me add on to that, all right? This is Psalm. Psalm 96, the Lord willing, I, you know, you, you brothers out there can hear me because it's hella loud out here, man. All right. But this is Psalm 96 and verse 4. All right. I'll start up and read through the point. This is Psalm 96, verse 1. It says, O sing unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shai, a new song. Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shai, all the earth. And the men of the Lord, the true prophets of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, are out here singing this new song which is this knowledge by the way it is knowledge wisdom knowledge and understanding 
right? This is the real music that's going on, right? But the majority of our people, they're not dancing to the tune, right? Verse 2, it says, Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemelashai, bless his name, right? Bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. That's why we out here, man. Verse 3, declare his glory among the heathen, and his, and his wonders among all the people. See that? And that's why we're out here, as scriptures tell us, it was in Psalm 37, that the mouth of the righteous, you know, would uh, declare the, the, uh, the judgments, would talk of judgment, would talk of the prophecies. Right? Let me get that. So that is paraphrase, let me just go get it. All right? Real quick. Psalm 37, verse 30, and it reads, it says, the mouth of the righteous speak of wisdom. Right, which is going back to really the knowledge of these scriptures, man. Uh, 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 having the true understanding. That's what's being spoke unto the people. The mouth of the righteous speak of wisdom and his tongue talketh of judgment, man. All right? So the judgment, the prophecies will be coming out of the, out of the true men of the Lord's mouth. Jeremiah 28 and 8. All right? The prophets that have been before us, before the of old, spoke of what? Of, of great evil uh, uh, and pestilence, man. All right? Warfare. All these things are playing out on the earth simultaneously while people are caught up in their own, in their own world, man. Right? And this message is, is for you Israelites, man. The so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, and Hispanics, man. It's time for you to turn back to your power and repent or the Lord is going to destroy your ass, man. Right? All the games, all the folly, all the pretending like you didn't know what was going on, you didn't know you was an Israelite, you didn't hear about the word, you didn't know about the prophets, all that's done. As our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai said, man, there's not, there's not going to be a cloak for your sins. Right? A lot of you Jakes out here, and you've been exposed to the knowledge. You know about the truth, man. God in the game, God. See that? All right? So going back, Psalm 96, verse 4 says, For the Lord, Yahweh Shai Shai, is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. All right? So as we read in 1 Corinthians, the 8th chapter, right? There's many lords, there's many gods, but there's only one true power. Right? It says, verse 5, uh, uh, Psalms 96 and 5, it says, For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Shai, made the heavens, man. And this is what we're trying to tell our people that are still stuck. Uh, that are still clinging upon these dumb idols, like the scripture said. Let me get that too. Right? This is 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 1, and it reads it says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Verse 2 Ye know that you were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols. Even as you were led, yeah, we were once, you know, we were once caught up, all right, with these strange philosophies, with these dumb idols. But now we're in a time of what? The awakening, man. Pursuing the Isaiah 10 and 20. That the remnant would no longer lean upon them that smote them, but they would lean upon the Holy One of Israel and truth. So now we're coming out of the, uh, the idolatry, man. We're coming out of the churches, man. Right? We're not, we're not, uh, 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 we're not in the Christian church. We're not, uh, uh, uh. We're not calling ourselves Muslims, man. Right? We're not dealing with the Quran, man. Right? But now, now we're clinging on to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, spirit of truth, as it told us in John the fourth chapter. Right? That the, that the time will come upon the earth that the true worshipers of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai will worship the power and spirit of truth, man. All right? So anyway, because hey, we were once uh, 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 we were once in a, in a Gentile state of mind, man. We we, we were once operating under a, 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 an uncircumcised mind, so to speak, man. But now we've been circumcised through the spirit, right? Let me get that. Let me still hold that first Corinthians, the eighth chapter, right? Because now it's about the spirit, right? Real fast, this is Jeremiah. Let's make a point on that. Bear with me. All right, Jeremiah chapter four, okay? Jeremiah chapter four in verse 
three. And it reads, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemalashai, to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground and sow not among the thorns. Verse 4, Jeremiah 4 and 4. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord, Yahweh Shemalashai, and take away the foreskins of your heart. Right? Meaning, now the circumcision is by the way of our mind now. Right? Take away the uh, the foreskins of your heart. All right? That word for heart in the Hebrew is la'ah, which goes back to your mind. It's where your spirit dwells. Right? So it says, circumcise yourselves to the Lord, Yahweh Shemalashai, and take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because, the, because of the evil of your doings. And this is why we're telling our people constantly to repent, man. All right? To let go of, to let go of Babylon, to let go of America, to, to get out of these damn harlot houses, what they call the Christian church. Right? And you niggas, you should have you came to the conclusion by now that you ain't learning shit in the church, man. Right? That should be painfully obvious now, man. All right? Your pastor not going into the prophecies. Why? Because he sold out. All right? He's under a government gag order, a 501c3 taxes him status. They're not allowed to talk about what's really going on in the world. That's why you don't learn shit in these churches, man. Right? All you hear about is prosperity, right? And, and he going to pass that collection plate at least three or four times before he got to go watch that football game on Sunday. Right? You don't know nothing about the Lord's name. You don't know nothing about the prophecies. Right? You don't know who Jacob is. You don't know who Esau is. Right? You have no clue of what's happening. So that's why that's why we're telling Jake, man. Drop the idols, man. Okay? It's time for you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and Hispanics to come back to your power, man, before it's too late. Right? Anyway, going back. This is, uh, let me get one more. Back in Jeremiah 4, and verse 5, it says, Declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land, and the, and the prophets are tied back to the to the uh, to the trumpet, man. The trumpet is being blown by the Lord raising his men up and giving you the uh, 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 the, the truth, the giving you the warnings, right? But nobody's taking heed. Nobody's listening to what's going on. The scriptures is constantly speaking, right? It says, "Blow ye the trumpet in the land. Cry, cry, it, cry! Gather together and say, assemble yourselves." And let us go into the defense cities, right? And who is our defense, our power? Yahweh Bashim Shot. right? Verse 6, it says, set up the standard towards Zion, right? And that's why we out here. We're setting up the standard. What is the standard? The truth, the banner, man. All right? The, the standard is also likened unto uh, uh, to an ensign, man. You know, a designated uh, uh, ensign to show the people where to go. And that's the men of the Lord that are standing up. Right, that are giving you 100% sound doctrine. Right, that are giving you the, uh, the answers, all right, to, 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 uh, uh, to receive the hedge of protection when the Lord brings the judgment on the earth, man. Right? Set up a standard towards Zion, retire, stay not. I will bring evil from the north in a great destruction, man. So as we as we know, all right, Shalom Makia, as we know, nuclear destruction is being is prepared, is prepared for America, man. World War III is about to go down. People don't believe it. All right? These nations are not testing missiles for no reason. Right? The fire, and the Lord told us in what? Uh, uh, First Peter that he had fire reserved for the ungodly, man. That's what that fire is going to be used for. Right? But only those that have the eyes to see. Anyway, let me get one more in that Jeremiah 4 because we were talking about the... Uh, now the, the circumcised the circumcision is by the way of mine. Right? One more to add to that point. Jeremiah 4. I started at 13. The point is at 14. Jeremiah 4 and 14. 13, Salakia. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and as his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. A whirlwind represents destruction. Right? A whirlwind like a tornado or something. 
of, of the purpose of a whirlwind is to, is to destroy. And this is what the chariots are going to do. Because right now, the, the chariots with the world calls, uh, even calls UFOs, they're doing a military reconnaissance right now. They're spying out the land, so to speak. Right? East, uh, the chariots are pulling up on Esau's military bases, showing their power. Right? Which is called, a, the term is called a show of force. Right? So the Lord is letting them know that he's not to be played with. There's nothing you could do against the, uh, the angelic powers of what the world calls UFOs, the angels of the Lord. Right? You got something you want to add in there, my brother? Right? Right? Bear with us. All right. So let's get back into it. Make sure brother's in the shot. All right, beautiful. So anyway, getting back into it, Jeremiah 4 and 13, it says, Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. And this is what's confounded Esau. Right? The fact that their military can't compete with the with the force of the Lord, man. Right? The law, the 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 the, the chariots, the UFOs are not bound by the law of physics, man. Or how they have the ability to maneuver in the heavens and the skies, how they can shape shift, how they can be giant, how they how they can make themselves small, all these different things. So Esau knows that he's done for. Right? Woe unto us for we are spoiled, O Jerusalem, washed our heart. From wickedness. So this is the time that you Jakes repent and wash your mind from the wickedness of the world, man. Right? It's time to cast off being a nigga, man. Right? Ain't no fruits of being being black, being a nigga, man. It's time to, to put that shit away. Right? Because hey, being black is like it's like you know to an idol, man. If you think about it, you know, being black, subscribing to what they call the culture, black culture, it's all idolatry. Right? Because that ain't got shit to do with the scriptures and it, and it, and it damn sure ain't got nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim al Right? So it says, Oh Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. Right? So if you don't change, if you don't reform, if you don't reformat your mind, you're not gonna be saved when this shit goes down, Jake. It's plain and simple. It says, that thou mayest be saved, how long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee, man. How long are you going to remain simple, man? How long are you going to be, uh, remain in that nigga type mentality? Right? We in a time of, of elevation, man. Right? We serve the true creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our power, man. Right? We serve the true living power, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's time, it's time to, 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 uh, uh, to elevate now, man. We pass being black. We pass being African-American, Latinos, Puerto Rican, all of this shit, man. We are the Hebrew Israelites, man. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The Lord said what? That we were a special people above all the nations above the earth, man. And that never changed. Right? Yeah, something about what that means. I got something. Yeah, bring it up. It's the book of Isaiah. You know, going back into the, uh, 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 going back to the, uh, the UFOs. The UFOs, man. The word ignorant calls Come back to the chariots. The word ignorant calls UFOs, man. Right, so because these so-called blacks like the Native Americans, man, right, they're still living in this black society, right, this black culture, right, you're also going to be destroyed, man. We start prayer and repent. That's right. This is why this is why scripture say this. In the book of Isaiah 66, and we read verse 15. It reads, for, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots, like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury. And his rebuke, the flames of fire. You see that? And how the Lord's going to come back in with that fire, man? Right? The eyes see the missiles, man. And also the intense laser beams of the chariots, man. All right? Let's keep going here. Verse 16. For by fire and by his sword. Uh, for by fire, Isaiah 66 and 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And when you go into that word plead, it means to judge, man. Right, so when the Howard Shai comes back here, right, he's not playing with you so-called black slides, you know, and Native Americans, man. Right, he's gonna judge you. It's in your norm. The Lord will plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. You see that? So there's a lot of people, right, it's gonna be destroyed on the day of the Lord, man. And he start praying and repent by the ICB missiles and also, you know, the intense nation being betrayed, like I brought out earlier, man. So it's time to come out of your wickedness. 
because the Lord is only dealing with you so-called black, Latinos, Native Americans, like our elder nation. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. The Lord said, only you have I known out of all the families of the earth, man. That's right. All right? The law, statute, commandments was given to Jacob, man. You Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and Hispanics. That's right. And the Lord is coming back to judge you if you don't repent. That's right. You see that? So let's go back to that uh, 1 Corinthians 8. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 5. For those that be, for those that be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be gods many and lords many. Right, so what god do you worship? That's right. <laughs> What, 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 what God, what Lord do you worship, man? There's many lords, many gods, man. Right? Because they like the scriptures say, oh, where you at? Uh, go to Romans 10 and get verse 2. Because our people, they have a zeal for a creator, but they're not according to the right, the right way. Go ahead. This is the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 2. Well, I bear the record that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to now. <laughs> You know, so our people, man, they have a deal of, you know, on the most high, right? They know what's going on, but they don't know what's going on, man. Right? Because our people, you know, they don't know your Hawaii, your Hawaii. See, our people, they still call the worship of what? Santa Maria, you know, Buddha, Allah, you know, all these other, all these other false gods out here. They're not calling the worship of the name of the Hawaii, sitting outside. Right, right, right. Our people, they have a deal, but not according to God. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 look, Jake ain't woke. Jake talk that woke shit. JK woke. Hey, what they describe being uh, awakened or woke is being a homosexual. Okay. Right? right? Being a transformer. That's that's under the banner of being woke. That's right. Nigga claim he vegan. Yeah. He woke. Yeah. Nigga, you ain't woke, you sleep. That's right. You a vegetable, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? JK ain't woke, man. Like I said, consciousness is when you know the truth. That's when you know the names of your power. Yahweh, why Yahweh shall, when you understand the oracles and the prophecies, when you keeping the laws to the best of your ability, that's when you woke, man. When you woke is when you, you know, got that breath of life, you know, that's coming to you, man. So now people, they don't have that breath of life. Now they got the breath of the bug out this way. Right, right. You know, sleep, man, snoring. Right. Right on, we call it night wheel, man. Right, right, right. People are through. They got that stank morning, bro. That's yeah, what they got. Yeah, that's right. You know, you, you read the Romans 10 too? Yes. You got some out? Uh, I just just to your point because pretty much, you know, Jake feel like he's woke, you know, going to, uh, you know, he might research the different spiritual, spiritual journeys, so to speak. Right. Uh, uh, looking up like the vegan, like you said. This is Isaiah 52 and verse 1. It says, awake, awake, put on thy strength. So Spirit. Showing you that, you know, to, to truly be awake is put on the strength of the scripture. It says, put on thy strength with Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. Now that strange apparel mentioned in, uh, uh, in the scripture, it says, yep. oh, Jerusalem, the holy city. Henceforth, there shall no more come into these uncircumcised and the unclean. But this is one to get the point that being awake is actually uh, coming back to the scripture. That's right, man. That's beautiful. Go back to the point. Still hold that Corinthians going to be on there. This is the book. Shalom, Mark. Shalom, Mark. Chapter 2, verse 4. Right. Chapter 2, verse 4. Chapter 2, verse 4. This is the book. Shalom, Mark. Shalom, Mark. This is the book. Romans, chapter 10, verse 2. For I bear the record that they have a zeal of the Most High. Not right, yeah, because going back to what I was saying about these different idols, Jake has a zeal of a creator, of a higher power, but not according to, to, the, to the correct knowledge, man. That's why Jake will go hard for, for Allah. He'll go hard for JC. He'll go hard for, for uh, the black woman or, or, or some Egyptian god. Right? But but not according to the right way. Read on now. Verse 3, Romans chapter 10, verse 3. Well, they being ignorant of the most high's righteousness. Yeah, Jake is ignorant, man. And, and, and the truth be told, a lot of you Jakes want to remain ignorant. Jake will look, Jake will come up with any type of argument to not to receive the truth. He'll, he'll come up with any type of argument to try to downplay the scriptures as not being true. Because niggas really don't want to be saved. Willingly ignorant. Right. Willingly ignorant, exactly. Jake really don't want to be saved. Right? Hey, is not Israel like enough to a kindly, delicate woman? You hoes don't want to be saved. That's the thing with Jake, man. Right? Go ahead, man. Romans chapter 10, verse 3. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. And that's the main thing with Jake. Jake goes about trying to establish his own righteousness. Nigga, I got my own relationship. What are you talking about? 
God been dealing with me since I was two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga will argue up and down the street about that, man. Scripture say that uh, 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 there's a way that seems right to a man, right? So you think you're doing right, you know, by doing whatever the hell you want to do, you know, this YOLO spirit, right? God knows my heart, you know, but continue on. And that precept that I quoted, there's a way that seems uh, right to a man, but the end there of the way is death. Right, man. See that? This is why people, they're, they're in this dead state, man. Right, and what's so heavy to add on to what the brother was saying, a lot of you jakes that think you got it all figured out, the Lord allowed you to get exposed to the truth, right. and you rejected it. So that was essentially that was your lot. That's right. Because in your time to be found, so to speak, your time to uh, uh, to get right yeah. and receive the truth, it wasn't meant for you to get. You got blocked. That's right. So a lot of these jakes that do become privy to the truth and you know hear about us being Israelites and the name of the Lord and the prophecies of what's getting ready to happen, and they can't really digest it, receive it, that was ultimately because that was their lot to not get it. They got marked. They got marked. Mark by the truth. Man. Go ahead, my brother. It's uh, Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 12. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. Just going into the pride that Jake has, thinking they haven't figured out already. That's right. Right? They they feel like they they you know, accomplished something on this side, man. Yes, so that they have right. something to look forward to, right. or build to, or gain, you know, by following after these other philosophies. Man. That's the pride that the lofty looks. Right. right. That's the pride that Jake has. It says they're pure in their own eyes. Yeah. You know, but they're not washed of their filthiness. Right. Because this we live in the land of filth, man. Right, so unless you're coming back to Serbia, how about you now shot? You're still covered in filth. That's it. Okay. Yeah, it's because just because you say you're a good person, right? You still what? You still eating pork, yeah. lots of crab, shrimp. You still going to church on Sunday. Yeah. You still celebrating the holidays, mm -hmm. right? So you're really not a good person in the eyes of the power. That's right. Right, like you quoted the scripture, it, it, the the ways of man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord is the one that weighs the spirits. The Lord is the true judge. Right. You see that? As a matter of fact, you just had a woman, a news article that just came out. The woman, you know, she pretty much uh, 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 stopped doing drugs for like 10 years, okay. no, no, right, doing everything right, and a helicopter fell on her damn head. You see that? And so this book, we got a lot of people out there that, that's in the spirit where I'm doing good, still eating abominate, uh, abominable food. Right. right. And judgment is still happening, man. Exactly. Because you people, you've been not repentant. And call them worshipful names to how about you now the You're right in your own eyes. Right, you still believe in JC? You actually think that a white man's gonna come save you? Yeah. Niggas still believe that. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Hey, Shalom, my nigga. Yeah. This is the book. Shalom. Romans chapter 10, verse 3. Shalom, brother. Shalom. Today, being ignorant of the most high's righteousness, yep. and go about to establish their own righteousness. That's all Jake wanna do. Jake wanna go about establishing his own righteousness. He want to worship the Lord. Jake want to worship the Lord on how he want to worship the Lord. Oh, yeah. Tell the one, my brother. Tell the one. Right? He want to do it how he want to do it. He don't want to, he don't want to go according to the to how the way was already, the foundation that was already set. Yeah. He think that he got it in, on his own will. But that's going to lead to your destruction. Right. Because you're not building the right way. That's right. Say you know, I'll be beginning. Yeah, you got Romans it. chapter 10, verse 3. Today, being ignorant of the most high's righteousness, and go about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the most high. And that's I Jake. Would. Jake don't want to submit himself to the true righteous ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. That's right. Right? He wants to set his own boundaries, his own uh, 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 ways. That's right. But that's what's going to get the, the majority of our people killed out here, man. Right? It ain't about your emotions or how you feel. It's about what the Lord say, man. That's right. See that? I got a quick this is the book of 2nd Chronicles chapter 15. I'm going to jump straight to the point, verse 13, because you so-called black blacks are very right. right? You want to see other gods, right? Do what you want to do with the most high in the box, like, you know, you can call on him. As a matter of fact, your brother Carl Wap, like he said, sometimes Jake on the to break out the scriptures, right? And your uh, personal emergency events, man. Like Hug the hell out, right? So you're the Christian, you better seek the Lord, man. It's not going to the hell you want to do. This right. is the book, and if you want to do what you want to do, this is what the scriptures say. Second Chronicles chapter 15, and the chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever 
will not seek the Lord God of Israel, right? So if you don't want to seek the Lord power of Israel, right? You still want to uh, celebrate false idols, still you know, celebrate Christmas and all that, right? And whosoever should not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death. Yeah. Whether small or great, whether man or woman. Yeah. That's, it. That's it, man. So the Lord, the Lord not exempted nobody, man. Right? He 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 coming out the uh give me that Ezekiel 9. Right? The Lord is about to uh, send forth his angels to the to enact judgment on Jake, man. Do you don't see what the hell is happening? As I talked about last night, man, the Lord gave us the eyes, the eye salve to see this very B system come together, man. This the, the components of the B system, man, the smart cities, the social credit score, all right, the uh fucking uh, designer babies, lab created meat. You know all the shit he's spraying in the in, in the air, all the stuff he's putting in the water, right? The famine to uh, to starve these people out. Everything is coming together, and, and Jake ain't seen it, man. Right? Lord got to fly. Come on, man. It's, uh, Ezekiel chapter nine and verse four, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. And these men were set apart, man. They said that these men will be sighing and crying for all the abomination that's going on in the midst of society, which nobody's speaking about. Yo, Cox. You see what I'm saying? So get, read on, huh? Verse 5. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare. Right, so the Lord is telling the angels to go through the city of Jerusalem, because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Man. Talking about you tribes, you Israelites. The Lord's going to allow these angels to start getting busy, man. And you wonder why niggas are dying the way they're dying out here, man. Right, we had a couple years ago when over 450 rappers got smoked. It was like the Lord was setting a trend. It was like it was like rappers just dying every goddamn day, rapper after rapper. Nigga got hit in the car accident, they got smoked. Right. Nigga was talking loud, talking loud on the internet, got popped. Yeah. Nigga overdosed. Yeah. Right? Just a lot of wild shit happening, and, and, and that's the Lord giving you a sign that he ain't with that black shit, man. That's right. He ain't with that black culture bullshit, man. That's right. Right? Read on, now. Ezekiel 9 and 5. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare. The Lord not sparing. Go ahead. Neither have ye pity. Yep. Slay utterly old and young. Yes. Hey, the Lord told the angels to spare, uh, to slay utterly old and young. Read on. Both maids and little children. Both maids, young women, and little children. Right? You see these little niggas running around nowadays, man. These niggas are monsters, man. Demons. They even tell you they on demon time. So that's even more reason for these niggas to get destroyed. Right? Go ahead, Doc. Both maids and little children yep. and women. And women. Women ain't going to get spared neither. Right? It ain't going to be, oh, she's a woman. <laughs> that's, that's a woman. Nah. She going to get her shit cut off too. You've seen a lot of judges out here when it comes to you so-called, uh, you black women, man. And you Jew like women out here, man. Yep. Right? Showing you that the Lord is, hey, showing you that these, these scriptures are real, man. Right? Yeah. Talk loud. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 22 and verse 3. It says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil out of himself. Yes. But the simple pass on and are punished. Like when you go into the word prudent, it goes into being sensible. You see? So uh, you're doing what's right, what's, uh, what's, what's uh, the correct choice, the, the, the smart option. Right. You see, two thirds, they have the opportunity, but they, they ain't take advantage of it. You yes. see? It says, But the simple pass on and are punished. Yes. You know, and pretty much, uh, the simple is going to pass on those that love simplicity. Uh, um, the, the ways of America, Babylon, great, they're going to be destroyed. This is the book of Job, chapter 19, jumping straight to the point, verse 29. And it reads, Be afraid of the sword, for the wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword, that ye may know that there is a judgment. That's you right. see that? So you so called blacks, black today, America is not living right. Hey, man, you better be afraid, man. Right? Because judgment is going forth out here, man. Right, just like the brother, how he brought out, man, in the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, man. See? Uh, back to Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man perceived the evil and how to consider. Right, so having prudence is the ability to see afar off. See what I'm saying? A prudent man foresee the evil and hide of himself. So like we said, we clearly see that what? Famine is on the table. 
all right? Uh, 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 civil war, racial tension, right? We see that this man is getting ready to come down with great wrath, right? Uh, 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 internet censorship, right? Your freedom of speech is about to be taken away. Your ability to roam throughout America freely and nearly is about to change, man. So a man of prudence, you see this, you're going to prepare yourself, man. How are we preparing ourselves now? By what? Clinging on to Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. Right? As we cling on the spirit of the Lord, the Lord continues to give us the, the increase of understanding, man. To, to, to be prepared for that great and evil day. Read on that. Uh, it says that how to himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Right, the simple pass on. We see, hey, week in and week out. What do they do? They pass by. They disregard what's being said. They laugh. They smirk. Because in these people's minds, hey, they, they got they got the answers already, man. Yeah. Right? A lot of these, hey, a lot of these people, especially these Edomites, that are all about the guns and all of that, they buying up all the guns, all the ammunition, because a lot of them think they're gonna ramble their way out this shit, man. Yeah. Right? But little do they know. A great slaughter is being prepared for the land, and you, Jake's included. It's gonna be an, uh, it's gonna be another uh, American uh, civil war, if you will. Right? Everybody's fed the hell up. Right? People are tired. People are tired of Biden. Right? Now, now the energy is shifting towards Trump. Now you got niggas for Trump, blacks for Trump, black women for Trump. Nothing but confusion, man. Every four years, nothing changes for the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Spanish. Right? But niggas you still want to trust in, in American politics. Showing you the folly that's on our people, man. When you gonna trust your Alba Shimao shot? Right? What you got? Whatever you got. So uh, back at uh, Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 5. That's right. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Yep. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Yep. No Slay. mercy. Go ahead. Slay utterly, old and young both maids and little children yep. and women. Yes. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Right, so the, so the Lord is going to send the angels out to smite young little kids, men and women. He, he ain't sparing, but it said, come not towards them that have that exemption from judgment, that, that mark uh, in the Hebrew, uh, uh, the, uh, the walk. Right, you got it, brother? This is the word mark, right, in uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And it's, and it's uh it's the wild and it reads um it means it, it reads a mark a sign of exception from judgment right and we lord willing we're the ones that's going to have that uh, uh that mark that exemption from judgment pursuing the uh get that in revelation chapter 7 talks about them that are sealed uh sealed the book of revelation chapter 7 verse 3 verse 2 I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the start, start the top, start the top. Start the top. This is Revelation 7. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Right, so in the spirit, the Lord has the angels on the four winds of the earth holding back the judgment, right? Until the Lord gives them the command to execute the judgment. Go ahead. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. That's right. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, yep. till we have sealed the servants of the power in their voice. Right, right. So until we have sealed. Get that word for seal real quick. Because before the destruction, before the destruction devours uh, uh, America and various parts of the earth, the chosen got to be sealed first, man. Go ahead. Huh? It says uh, sealed. Uh, Sofrejo. It says, since things sealed up are concealed as the contents of a letter to hide, keep in silence, keep secret, in order to mark a person for a thing. It says to set a mark upon it by the impression of seal or stamp. It says angels are said to be sealed by the most high. Yeah. Yeah, read that last part about the, the, the stamp. Right. It says to set a mark upon by the impress of a seal or stamp. It says in order to prove, confirm, or attest a thing. That's that spiritual, uh, as the apostles talked about. They said there's two different marks. I remember they did a, uh, a camp lesson in there at the beginning of the year. They said it was going into the fact of uh, there's two different marks. You got a physical mark, which is going to be this man's uh, uh, MOTB, the C-hip. And then you got a spiritual mark, man. 
which the elect are going to receive as part of that uh, exemption from judgment. You got it, guys. It says, to prove one's testimony to a person that he is what he professes to be. Yeah, go ahead. You can, you can speak on it, too. Uh, it says, to right. prove one's testimony to a person that he is what he professes to be and pretty much having the, uh, the testimony of a Mashiach, you know? Right. He's like going to have the testimony of a Mashiach, you know, coincide with that, um, that, uh, that walk. That's right. Go back to that and read, read down a little bit. Revelation 7 and verse 4. And I heard the number of them so, which were sealed, well, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of children of Israel. Right, you can stop right there, man. So, and it, and it lists 12,000 out of each tribe, and then when you get to verse 9, right, it goes into that great multitude, which that great multitude are Israelites, man. That's right. Right, that, that were saved from every nation under heaven, man. Yeah. Remember, pursuing, pursuing back to the curses and the prophecies, the nation of Israel would be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So our people would be looking like the other nations, man. That's, right. That's easy to receive, man. That's right. You're gonna have Jakes that are gonna look so-called white, uh, so-called Chinese, right? They're gonna look like uh, 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 Hamites, right? Speckled bird, yeah. if you wanna get that, yeah. you know? So that's easy to receive, and that's who the Lord is coming to gather. That's why when he comes back, the angels, they're going to gather the elect from the four winds of heaven. Right? right? right. Got to make it make sense. Right? Okay. Yeah, go ahead, bring it up. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12. I'm going to jump straight to the point. In verse 9, it says, My heritage is, a, is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to yeah, the mother nations, man. They're all around. They're, they're, they're gathered around about us, right? They're against us, right? But the speckled bird, you want to speak on that? You know, so I mean, you know, just like what the elders said, man, our people, you know, we've been scattered abroad, man. This is why it's important to read the apocalypse, man, right? About the Hellenization of our people, you know, and also going back to the curses in the Bible, we said that we were scattered, man, right? From one end of the earth even to the other, man. Yeah. You see, that's why our people, you know, you got people that, they look like Asians, people that look like Edomites, right? This is spiritual, man. Yeah. You see that, but a lot of our people, you know, it's not about skin color, man. That's it. It's about the spirit. Yep. Okay? Come on. So the book of Hosea, chapter 7, verse 8. Yeah. It says, Ephraim has mixed mix himself among the people, which is the other nations, right? right. Ephraim is a cake not turned. So how's the cake look when you don't turn it, man? The top is white or light, light brown, and the bottom is dark. Yeah. That's that's Jake, man. All all shapes and colors, man. Yes, yeah. right. So you niggas out there, or excuse my language, or you guys out there, still got you know, still think that you know the Israelites are, are, are all black, right? The Spirit of the Lord ain't, ain't working with you, man. All right, our people come in all shades and colors, man. All right? Yeah. Give me Isaiah 11 and uh, yes, right here, 1 and 2. It's just going back to the point. Now, like we said, it's time to repent. It's time to come back to Yahweh Shemal Shai and, and come up quick understanding. Because as, as, as Jake is coming in in this last hour, because we're in the last hour of this thing, the Lord really about to close up shop. Those that are coming to receiving of the milk, that's getting the understanding that you're a Hebrew Israelite, that you uh, 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 you understand the name of Yahweh Shemal Shai. They're receiving of these things even faster now. Yeah. I remember what, nine, ten, nine, ten years ago when we first came in, man, we was re we was receiving the, the, the world like like clockwork, man. But now it's either it's even more on a faster pace because the Lord is really about to close up this thing. Man. That's right. You know? This is the book, Isaiah chapter 11, starting at the top, verse 1. That's why we said if a nigga can't get it, hey, we moving on, man. Yeah. The, the, all the, there is no debating, man. That's right. Like the Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Tahar said. Ain't no debating it. The truth is not a sport, man. This ain't no uh, spectacle, man. We out here. We ain't out here to have the next matchup next week. You know? yeah, yeah. We come out here on Saturday. Okay, we're gonna match up against the Christians next week, man. It's gonna get it. It's gonna get intense. Make sure you tune in and shit. That's not what it's about, man. Jake is all about filthy lucre, man. Entertainment. Yeah, that's right. Subscribe. No likes. Push, push that like button. Going on. Click, click that subscribe button, man. Right. We it, that ain't the energy out here, man. Right. Right. We out here to, to give you the word, whether you uh, whether you hear or forbear. That's it, man. Right. right. This is the book of 
time of what of that quick that quick understanding man you jakes that can receive this thing man hold on to what you've been taught right no there's no need to be going all extra deep you know trying to be too deep three deep four deep man stick to what you've been taught man stick to the milk man the basics if you will all right because hey like it tells us what is the first corinthians the 13th chapter uh the lord uh, uh what did it say Scripture say we prophet, we know a part and prophesy a part, right? Somebody get that for me. I think that's 1 Corinthians 13. I want to say verses 9 and 10. Right? Because the Lord, he gave us everything we need to know in this flesh that's going to allow us to receive of salvation, man. He gave us the wisdom, man. Right? We, we got everything we need according to prophecy and according to how we're going to get on them chariots, man. Everything else is really irrelevant right now, man. You know how big the sun is, how 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 round the moon is, what kind of sandals Jehovah Shai had on, uh -huh. you know, what kind of instrument King David played. Oh, and it's a fucking ice age. Yeah, ice age. Comet, they hit the yeah, planet. Comet hit the planet. The planet. <laughs> Dinosaurs, giants. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Jake is worried about the wrong things. Yeah. You know? Jake not worried about uh, uh, salvation. Right. Like Jake want to know, you know. Uh, I'm in rhinestones, right? Yeah, I was shot. You got it. I can take it. Bet, bet, yeah, because spirit moving. Off, man. So, brother, they don't know the scriptures at all. You know, but you more concerned about, you know, about the stuff that don't matter, man. You see that? That's what's up, but let's get to see. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. That's what's up. First Corinthians. We're going to chop it up. You already know. In verse 9. For we know in part. And we prophesy in part. Yeah, we know in part and we prophesy in part. So the Lord gave us just enough, man. You know, he gave us everything that we need to, 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 to declare these prophecies and to receive salvation on the chariots, man. That's all it's about. Are we, are we not fighting to be uh, found worthy to make it out of here? What else What else does it matter? Yeah. Right? We ain't here to be fucking Hebrew Israelite rap stars, man. That's right. And you niggas stop making them videos, man. Hey, them songs be terrible, man. Whack. Whack as hell, man. Oh, oh, just, just Come on, man. Are you not embarrassed doing that shit, man? Music trash. But that's the main thing with Jake. Oh, I want to reach the people through the music. No, the real music is what? The prophecies, man. That's right. Singing this song. Singing this song, the right song, man. We ain't here to be famous, man. That's right. You know you have something, bro? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It's first Timothy one and four. Neither give heed to fables or endless genealogies, which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith. So do. Yeah, so the point. We're not caught up in Ancestry.com, DNA evidence, that's, that's another argument niggas want to come with, man. That's all folly, man. You think the devil going to let you know where you descend from, where you actually come from? All that shit is rigged, man. And plus, hey, our belief is through faith, man. Give me Romans 8. Hold where you at. Give me Romans 8 and whatever else brothers is holding. Uh, Romans 8 and 16, right? Go ahead. Yeah, bring it up. Bring it up. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 21. To read, seek not out the things that are, that are too hard for thee, neither search, neither search the things that are above thy strength. You see that? So, you know, stop trying to be. Y'all better bring it out. Right? Uh, you got a lot of people like try to be too deep. You had one bug out out here. He just got, you, you know, talking about the damn ice age. It's in the scriptures, man. Right? And bring out no precepts, right? So, you know, just just worry about the things that are in the scriptures, man. As a matter of fact, take the opportunity to occupy in prophecy. Yeah, yeah, if we was out here talking about the goddamn Anunnaki or some shit, yeah. oh, video, yeah. videos would get hella views. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's right. You know, the Lord gave us this truth, this knowledge, and that wasn't enough for Jake, man. Uh -huh. I got that. 8 
everything. Yep. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the hour. Yeah, so the, the spirit bear witness with our spirit, man. The spirit, the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai jives with our spirit, which declares unto us that we are the children of Yahweh Shema Shai, man. We don't need no goddamn DNA test. Right? We ain't gotta go draw no blood. <laughs> figure out, okay, you you descend from here. You know, that ancestry shit. Alright, that's all the it's all irrelevant. This thing is faith based. That's right. You either believe or you don't. Yeah. Ain't no in between. You damn right, man. Right, we are a faith based group. And a lot of people together need to have faith. Right, so no, we're not gonna go down here running Esau. Right, to get no damn genealogy. That's like I held the man. Right, it's the spirit, man. I switch what it's uh, uh, John 66 That's right. You know, so it's about the spirit. And you got a lot of Israelite groups out here. They're not in the right spirit. Right? You got a lot of them still wearing all black, you know, and all that shit. These people out here, like, they void of light, man. Right? It's about, it's about the spirit, man. Six, six. Somebody's hold something? If not, go to Ezekiel 21. Oh, I'm sorry, Ezekiel 12, start at verse 21. Because we, we were just talking about being of a quick understanding, having the ability to receive this thing quick. All right, because Esau is doing everything in his power to remove the word, to get us off the streets, to get us off the uh, the world wide web. Right, he's preparing the narrative of the persecution. Anybody that believes in the Bible, the Bible is going to be deemed as hate speech. Right, we see all this shit coming as we read in Proverbs, man. Right, a, a, a man of wisdom. A uh, prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. Right? So we're preparing for the spiritual war, if you will, man. Right? This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 12, starting at verse 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are for long, and every vision failing? Yep. <laughs> Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord our power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, yep. but say unto them, the days are at hand, and it's like the end, and the effect of every vision. Yeah, that's right. The days are at hand, man. Right. The Lord is causing that proverb to cease. You don't believe it's the end of the world. Well, too bad. Right. We're in them times. You say, what if some did not believe? That's you it, know, man. The ICBM still are being prepared to be launched like in America. Yep. It's still, it's still, uh, uh, the earth is still going to get uh, depopulated. Oh, yeah. that, and that's really the will of Yahweh man. That's right. The Lord is just using the elites on the left-hand side to implement the judgment, man. Because remember, hey, according to Isaiah, the 10th chapter, Esau is the, uh, he's the axe. Right. But the most the most high is the one that's, uh, that's hewing the axe, man. That's right? right? He, he's, just a, he's just being used as a vessel for destruction, man. That's right. But after he's been done used, being used, the, the most high gonna get rid of his ass. That's right. <coughs> you know? Go ahead, Doc. Uh, Ezekiel uh, uh, chapter 12, verse 24. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house. It's yeah, no more bullshit, man. No more lies, no, no, no more vain visions, no more blowing smoke up your ass, man. That's right. We're in a time where, look, Jake is getting the truth correctly and directly, man. Regardless of how you feel, man. Or if your emotions get touched and hurt. At the end of the day, hey, the truth gotta come out, man. We out here, we out here to, to, uh, uh, to, to help seal the elect, man. This word is only for the elect. Read on. Continue on, verse 25. For I am the Lord. I will speak, and the word that, that shall speak comes to pass. Yep. It shall be no more for long. For in your days, O rebellious house, yep. will, I, like, will I say the word and will be performed right. and will perform it. So the words of the Lord are no longer being prolonged no more. We see in the famine, we see in the civil unrest, we see in the breakdown of America. We see in the homosexuality getting pushed upon the kids and all over the earth, man. How they're trying to uh, 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 make it cool to be a fucking transformer weirdo and shit, man. Right? Or how they're blatantly trying to remove the most high from out the earth and establish in the name of science 
and technology which which he's putting up on the on the pedestal as the new idol. Because that's the time we come in and we get that sign out that uh see him. Right? So why like we say, while everybody's caught up in the folly in America and all of that, they get ready to crash the dollar, man. Right? And this is gonna be the new form of currency, whether you believe it or not, man. All you niggas in these other camps that's trying to say that the MOTB ain't the uh ain't the karagma, whatever the case is, but why aren't you talking about the technology that's being implemented? What, what about the social credit scores, man? Right? What about these smart cities that these devils are gonna try to keep you locked in where you can't do shit? Right? Why are you not talking about that? Right? Why are you not talking about all these, you know, all these other countries, man? It's pretty much abandoning the US dollar, man. It's a high possibility that the US or the US dollar may start to definitely collapse. January the first, man. Yeah. Right? 2024. Yeah. So why you Israelite like camps not talking about that, man? Yeah. But the word of the Lord is it, it, it's gonna happen whether you like it or not, man. Yeah. And then they also talking about hey, there's a possibility of November 2024 that they may not even have the presidential elections. Yeah. And if that happens, all oh, hell gonna break loose. And we hope it go down that way, man. Right. Because they're already throwing the signs out there. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. It's uh, Jeremiah 14 and verse 14. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them, they prophesy unto you a false vision, and divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. That's what we're seeing these other Israelite groups in particular doing, right? right? They're prophesying according to their heart. They're prophesying according to their will, and their will is to continue to build in Esau's kingdom. Right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll hold it to let us It says, Therefore, thus said the Lord, concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not, yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. So these men who are saying, you're not going to have to go through Jacob's trouble, right? You're not going to be presented with this implantable device that, that, that's going to uh, ultimately be you know, your, your ticket to hell, uh, to uh, the grave, man, right? You, you, you either receive it and get put to death in the nuclear fire, or you deny it and you, you can uh, get salvation, right? But they're not warning the people of these things, man. They're saying sword and famine is not coming, right? They're not preparing the people's minds for the coming calamities. They're not preparing their minds to see millions and millions of dead bodies, man, right? To see mass judgment take place on a daily basis, man, on an hourly basis, right? And they're not preparing these people so when they get caught off guard, right, when they get caught in the wares, they're gonna, uh, like I said, they're gonna be consumed by the same things they said weren't gonna happen. Exactly, and the scriptures likened under these, uh, the scriptures likened these false prophets as, as dumb dogs. I got it right here. This is the book of Isaiah 54, I mean 56. I'm gonna start at verse 10. It reads, His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark sleeping, lying down. Yeah, they, yeah, these false prophets are nothing but dumb dogs. What's the purpose of having a watchdog and the nigga ain't watching? Yeah. Yeah. Right? He ain't guarding shit. And that's, that, and that's these these jakes right now, these 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 so-called other Israelite camps, man. That's right? Right? They're all about partying. They're all about building a kingdom here in Babylon, America, right? Promoting marriages. CDs. Yeah, rap albums. They, they're not sincerely giving you the warning of detaching your spirit from this place, right? And that's why, hey, scriptures say they lead, they lead captive uh, uh, silly women. The main, the main people that's in them, in, in them uh, uh, Israelite churches is some damn women, man. Because with, with the women, it comes money, man. You know, they're easily manipulated, man. That's right. Right? That's how it goes. Yeah. See? And, and me just speaking as a man, a lot of these things are like people that do that about marriages and about, you know, or they really think about money and box. Right. Right? right? You're not thinking about the prophecies, man. Right? Think about more uh, 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 more people coming into your congregation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, see, you, know, you uh, see a bunch of women on the common floor. What's yeah. going on? Exactly. Hey, because those marriages, them immaculate marriage videos, those attract a lot of women, man. Yeah. They like that shit. You see what I'm saying? That's why, hey, you know, just dealing with people that I know, when they got exposed to them videos, they was hitting me up like, what group is that? 
you know, they got the man, you know, it was caught up in the fucking uh the outward appearance. The, 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 the glitz and glam. That's the that goes back to the gimmicks. Yeah. And you gotta have the gimmicks to attract large multitudes of people. Yeah. Right? Because really these guys lack the spirit. That's why they in the in the in the camp videos with fit uh, fitted caps on, man. That's right. Dark shades with, with with fucking basketball jerseys with fringes on them and shit. Yeah, that's right. Going off. Going the cash out is the life. <laughs> Going off, man. You know, look. See? Mike, go ahead. Give me that Ezekiel 11 one and 2 box. Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 2. Ezekiel 11, verse 2. Then said he unto me, Son of man, there are the men that devise mischief. Yeah. And give wicked counsel in this city. Yeah, there's there's certain men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in the city, which these other groups are doing. You know, verse three, which say, it is not near. Let us build houses. Yep. This city is the cart the cauldron. Yeah, they're in that spirit. Hey, you know, we still got time. Yeah. Let us build. You know what I'm saying? Let us let's try to get money. Let's try to you know exalt ourselves in, in this captivity. You know, we got plenty of time. The Lord ain't coming back. The Lord set us up to 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 to, to, to build a brand. That's right. You know, to market a, a a a brand, a corporation. That's the spirit these guys are in, man. Scripture talk about how how I can be eating and drinking and getting in marriage and all that because I can be not worried about set curls. Set curls. It's coming, man. Not be worried about a bunch of crazy shit. Come. Yeah. Okay, Con, I'm going to read down to verse 5 for what was reading that. This is Ezekiel chapter 13 and verse 4. It says, O Israel, thou prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Get us in another version. NLT, it says, O people of Israel, these prophets are yours. These prophets are yours, like jackals, diggers, and the ruins. So, pretty much, uh, uh, these false prophets, you know, chiefly in a circumcision, they benefit off of uh, destru the destruction of Jacob. Right, that's right, brother. That's right. Go ahead, come in. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5. I'm going to start up at 23. But this people have a revolt and rebellious heart. They are revolting. No. That's how people are all day, up and you know, down. Every day, man. Y'all revolt against y'all by some y'all child. Y'all prove, man. Y'all don't. Neither say in their heart, let us fear the Lord our power and give it rain, both form and letter. And this is He reserve it unto us, the appointed weeks of the harvest. Y'all don't fear y'all by some y'all shot. Who give y'all everything? Who he can give y'all liberty you know, to walk around even though you're not, you know, serving, won't come back and repent. That's y'all by some y'all shot. Giving you, you know, time to get right. Praise your iniquities have returned, your iniquities have turned all away these things. And your sins have withholding good things from you. See? Your sins have withholding good things from you. That's why we over here in the trap, man. Over here oppressed by the damn devil all over the planet because our wickedness and our sins. We both be running this place, man. We both be up, up on top, above everything. But our wickedness put us on the bottom in every nation around the planet, man. For among my people are found wicked men up in the churches, up in the synagogues, where are found wicked men. They lay them stairs and traps for y'all, just like we talk about y'all women with those, uh, you know, those weddings and stuff, you know, the glam of it. Y'all right. love that stuff, man. All they want is your money to get you up in there. What they do? They, they, they roll out the dog on the money tray two, three, four times. Get your money. Yeah, That's all these preachers want, man. They ain't trying to enlighten you about, you know, the scriptures, telling you about your power, telling you about the damn devil, Esau, either who he really is. Y'all don't even know. Still don't know. Don't consider. Don't even consider. See? They lay wait as he said his snares. They sit trapped. They catch men. And this is how y'all caught up in them churches, man. Caught up in these synagogues, caught up in all these religions. Yeah. Because they don't set them, them snares and them traps, man. Yeah. And part of them traps, even dealing with those in the circumcision. Yeah. Yep. Part of them traps is them goddamn gimmicks. That's right. Right? Like the brother said, uh, bells and whistles, man. That cracked me up. Because that's, hey, that's the truth. These guys ain't nothing but theatrics, man. Yeah. Bells and whistles, gimmicks. Yeah. Because they lack the oil. So you got to use all that extra shit to attract people, man. That's right. Showing that you lacking like something. And also, the scripture says that, that, the, that the, uh, the seed and the seed are his, man. So, a lot of these Israelite groups in the church, they ain't nothing stumbling block, man, because the Lord often didn't want you individually to come into the truth, man. That's it, man. Because you ran across the videos before, right? But I'll be simply rejected. Right. Make one right.
which say it is not near. Let us build houses. This city is the cauldron and we be the flesh. Right, like it tells you in Micah the third chapter, you know, these false prophets, they pluck the skin and, and, and the meat off of, of my people's bones. Meaning what that means is that these false prophets put our people back in a dead state, man. We were given the breath, all right? The Lord allowed us, our, 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 our eyes to open up. We have to understand the truth. But these guys are trying to put our people back in darkness, man. You know? Verse 4. Therefore prophesy against them. See that? Therefore prophesy against them. So coming against these other camps, it was commanded by the Lord, man. We were all commanded that what? That we speak the same thing, man. And you have men out here that are not doing so. Scripture said they speak not according to his word and there is no light in them. Right. You know, so we're commanded to, you know, just like back up the other. We're commanded to speak against your individual, man. They call division. Exactly. Get that in Romans 16. Finish it out. Verse 4 and 5. O son of man. Verse 5. And the spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said unto me, Speak. Thus saith the Lord. Thus have ye said, Salah. Thus have, thus have ye said, O house of Israel. For I know the thing that come into your mind, every one of them. All right, so the Lord knows all your thoughts, man. All right, you're not going to Jake, you're not going to Jake the ultimate Jake. Right? You're not going to get, you're not going to get away from the Lord, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He created Jake. That's right. You know, still hold that Ezekiel 20, uh, uh, 12, but give me that precept in uh, Romans 16. This is the book of Romans chapter 16, verse 17. And it reads, Now I beseech you, brethren, Mark them that cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. So, so we were commanded to mark them. What's that word mark in the Greek is uh, skopeo. All right? You got to scope them out. Because you got men in this thing. You got agents. You got hirelings. You got false prophets that, are, that have been, that have intermingled themselves within the church. And they're leading the true believers astray. But once again, the Lord did tell us that what? That the elect, if they, if they uh, could be deceived, it's not possible, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. they would the very elect. If, if so, they would deceive the very elect. So we know that the, the true elect ain't going to be deceived. They ain't going to be caught up in the gimmicks and the theatrics and the bells and whistles and all the bullshit. Right. They're going to stick to sound doctrine. The Lord even told us that in John the 10th chapter. He said what? My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Right? right? The voice of the Lord is what? The 100% true doctrine. Right. He said it. Uh, uh, he said, a hireling, they will not follow. All right? They don't know the voice of him, roughly paraphrasing. That's right. right? So the elect ain't going to get caught up. Go ahead, huh? Come on, this is the book. And if I may add, when you read one verse up once, uh, that group, uh, ISUPK, how they tried to say, you know, well, you know, uh, uh, you know it's funny how the brothers, you know, uh, gave the brother pretty much a holy kiss. Right. right? It's, and then the guy read this very precept, but just looking right above that. It says salute with another, or salute one another with the holy cancer. Right, so the take is, a lot of people out here bugged out, man. Let's keep going, though. Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid that. Right, the Lord said avoid them. Right, and there's a reason why he said that. Because if you continue to cling on to them, pursuing Ezekiel 14, you're going to be destroyed right along with that false prophet. Right. The Lord said that you're going to suffer the same judgment as that. As a matter of fact, get that. Right? Because you still got Jake. You still got Jake watching all these different videos from all these different camps. And you, and you wonder why you're confused. Right? St hey, just hey, straight forward. Stick to the apostles, elders, and bishops of Great Millstone, man. Those are the true leaders whom the Spirit of the Lord has set up on the earth. Right. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 9. And if a prophet be deceived, and he have spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. Right, so it's the Lord in the midst. You see that? I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. Read on. And will stretch out my hand upon him, and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. Go ahead. Verse 10. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. Punishment of the prophet shall even be as the punishment of them 
that seeketh unto him. Right, so the punishment of the prophet shall be even be unto them that, that seeketh unto that false prophet. Right. So you're going to be destroyed with him. The Lord gave you the opportunity to get up out of there, man. Right? It said mark and, 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 and flee from them. Right? But a nigga like, oh, you know, how, uh, you know, spirit, you know, he ain't a false prophet, whatever. Whatever how you feel. Malachi told us that in the last days, those that, that the, the true believers was going to be given the, uh, the discernment on who's serving the Lord and who's not. That's right. But it's on you to have that discernment, man. That's right. Right? Hey, Shalom, I'm out. Y'all about to shoot me out, show back a thigh. What's up, brother? Good to see you, brother. Likewise. Con, con. It's turned up out here today. Yeah, y'all about to shoot me out, show back a thigh. You know? It's the most people we've seen out here in a minute, man. All for this damn football game, man. That's right. Hey, show back a thigh. Show back a thigh. Show back a thigh. Y'all about to shoot me out, show back a thigh. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Scripture said our people think they they are following this, the folly is set in great dignity, and after we are occupied with folly. So Ezekiel 14 and verse 9 in the NLT. And if a prophet is deceived into giving a message, it is because I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. That's right. So the Lord has deceived these individuals out here by right, receiving these bug out, uh, uh, bug out things to say out their mouth, man. You see that? I will lift my fist against such prophets uh -huh. and cut them off from the community of Israel. Ooh. False prophets and those who seek their guidance it said, all. It says false prophets and those, right, who seek their guidance, right? A lot of these silly women, right? Check, they don't have the spirit of discernment. See that? False prophets and those who seek their guidance will all be punished for their sins. I ain't got it. It's Jude 1 and 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares. <laughs> who were before of old ordained in this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of our power into lavishness and denying the only Lord power. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness a lot. And denying the only Lord power and our Lord Yahweh Shai That's right. So you got a lot of people out there that were predestined right to be wicked, man. Yep. Right? You got a lot of people out there, you know, as a matter of that I, uh, I, uh, IUIC still call the name of Christ, right? So there's a lot of people that still in that spirit, man, but it's awesome these people that were pre predestined, preordained from the very beginning to be like this, man. Yeah, yeah you got, you got, you got IUIC still calling on Christ, but here it is, they're doing all of this uh, glorious work by opening up schools, they're doing this whole international thing, right? But at the end of the day, you improperly breaking down the MOTB, you still calling on JC. Coming in on uh, coming in concert or, 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 or Passover's or nag. Come on, man. <laughs> you, you teaching that the uh the that the new moon is the full moon. Right? You saying that uh it's wicked to have multiple wives. Yeah. You teaching a hell doctrine. You can have sex on the Sabbath. You can have sex on the Sabbath. So you think that the Lord when he returns, he's gonna honor that? Real yeah, quick, go to Matthew 7. Hold that. Go ahead, huh? Right. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 15 says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving the world. You speak on it. So the brother get uh, first Maccabees 1 and 11. It's pretty much what these false prophets are doing. They're pretty much uh, um, pushing forth a doctrine that, that makes uh, Jake want to stay here. Yes. They're not really uh, pushing the doctrine of arising and departing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not teaching Jake. They're not pushing Jake in the spirit to, to separate their spirit from this place. Yep. Verse 16. They shall know them by their fruits, so pretty much what they push their doctrine, you know, the, the, uh, the gimmicks, the, the stuff that they, they're, they're pushing uh, onto the passage. Yeah. Right? It says, Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit. So, you know, so the true men is going to have those righteous works that coincide with the scripture. It says, But a corrupt tree bring, brings forth evil fruit. All right, they, they're going to uh, come with the doctrine of the world, you know. Yeah. It says, A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Now they can corrupt you and bring forth good fruit when you go into the trees and the scriptures at times and go into the men. Yeah. It says, every tree that brings forth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. You see, so those that made them different covenants uh, uh, with hell and death, but those are going to be uh, nullified, they're going to be destroyed. Yeah. We get that. Uh, yeah. first this, this is the book, 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, we start at verse 11. 
Uh, in those days, went out there, it's like it went out of Israel, wicked men. That's in the, that's in the time of Hellenization, you see, but right now we're in the time of Westernization, you see. So you got uh, uh, people in that spirit that want to keep Jacob in, in that Western, that Western culture. Yeah. Right. Say it all, who persuaded many, say, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us, for since we departed, from them we have had much sorrow. Uh, pretty much in the same spirit that uh, back in Egypt, Exodus uh, 14 chapter. See, pretty much they want to keep their captivity. Okay. You know, so all you false prophets out there. Read down to verse 21. This is Matthew chapter 7 and verse 20. Wherefore, by their fruits they shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Read the 27, so like But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. All right, so those that are uh, not pushing forth those righteous works, you know, uh, telling the Lord's people to repent, you know, they're not going to make it uh, into the kingdom. That's right. See, it says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? See, many, going, hey, many of these, these guys, they're going to say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in, in, in your name? We opened up schools. We was international, right? We was doing X, Y, and Z. Marching up and down. We, were, we was marching up the street. We was, we was uh, compelling people to come in, yeah. right? Okay. Go ahead, up. Uh. And in that, uh, have we not prophesied thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. Right. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Right. We, which we see. Right. Go ahead. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Woo. Depart from me, here that work in Nicholas. Then the Lord is going to profess unto you that I never that I never knew you. Right? Basically, get the hell out of my face. <laughs> that's what the Lord is going to say. And that's heavy there. You know, when you read that and you really fear the Lord, man, right? Like, yeah, you know, pretty much, man, whose man is this? You know? <laughs> that's a terrible thing to hear from you all the time, man. Right while you're out, man. You know, to get the hell away from me, I don't know who the hell you are. Man. Ooh, man. That's the ultimate form that's of rejection. A, that's a terrible feeling, man. That's terrible, man. Hey, like, like, like you piss your pops off. Yeah. And you try to talk to him. Get the hell out of my damn face. Yeah. That, that ain't a good feeling, man. Or he just brings, you know, right. that belt down. Bring man. the belt down, slap the shit out you. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Lord gonna do to a lot of you false prophets, man. Get the hell out of my face. I never knew you, man. Hey, cast him in the, uh, uh, Cast them in outer darkness where there should be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's how it's going to go. Because you was playing with his name. You playing with the Lord's name. Let's deal with that. You ain't putting no type of reverence, no nothing, man. Scripture say that the elect shall call and worship his name, man. Going to the pocket man. You know, so that proves to you right there, man, that these, if it's 9 times 10, these people pay and repent. They're not part of the elect. Right, right, right. Doing all of this stuff all over the world, right? Yeah. But I guess when the Lord comes back, then that's when you gonna start saying, "Oh, y'all was shot, y'all was shot." Uh -huh. he, 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 look, get out of my face! I never knew you, nigga. That's right. Right? That's right. Go ahead, read on now. This is Matthew seven and twenty-four. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Yeah, a wise man, a wi those wise virgins, that's right. which we're building our house upon the rock. Which is your hollow shot. Right. right? The foundation, if you will. Go ahead. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Yeah, the reason why that house didn't fall because it was founded upon a rock, your hollow shot, man. That's right. So when all that hail and all that persecution and all that stuff comes down, all right, that house is gonna stand. Hey, we got the, we have the examples, man. Yeah. Look at what our apostles and elders and bishops uh, uh, went through, man. That's right. Right? Going back to the old school when they was kicked out. Yeah. What happened? They they remained diligent. That's right. Now look at the fruit of all they work today, man. That's right. right? Why? Because they was built upon a rock, man. Right. Yahweh was with them. And we go into uh, Isaiah 30 and 20 when it says, Your eyes shall see your teachers. That word teachers goes into someone who lays the foundation. That's heavy. No, so and we, we see that foundation being your hollow shy, and the only group that's pushing your hollow shy is the GMS, man, and the affiliates. Man. And, 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 and just to add back on to the point, the Lord was with them, and then they, they give you the testimony about all them cats that was back in the school during the 90s. Elder Apostle Gabar talked briefly about it in his recent video about the brands put out the fire, right? He said that uh, he said they had 50 guys 
right, in the camp underneath Elder Apostle Hall, right, and still today, there's only two men that came from that camp. Apostle the Ball, you know, he's teaching with uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, and also you got, you know, uh, Bishop May, you see what he's doing. Like, if that's good, right. we're good. So all those people that fell off, because he said, well, he said about around 1992, he said that's when uh, the truth pretty much exploded on the scene. Yeah. And you had a whole bunch of Jakes that was around, and where they at now? They went back into the world. See what I'm saying? So that's that's concrete proof right there, based off their testimonies that the Spirit of the Lord is dealing with them, man. That's right. Right? Read on. Matthew uh, 7 and 26. Everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. Uh -huh. And the rain descended, and the floods came. And you, you, uh, Think about like sand, you know, it's, it's not uh, stable. So if you build a house on the sand, it's pretty much going to be destroyed. It's going to be taken in that water. But right. it says and that's not that's not real ground. You know, that's like when you build a sand castle on the beach so damn well, and the wave come. That's what happens to that sand castle, man? It's going to turn into mush. Shit. See that? But we, you know, are uh, built off on the foundation of Yahweh Shai, that rock, man. Okay. Matthew 7 and 27, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, yeah. and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Right, and what's so heavy about that, when that when that sea hip is mandated, right, when they lock this shit down, right, all that, all that little shit, all the little gimmicks that you try to build upon, it's going to be thrown down, man. When, when Jake start getting judged hardcore, you see what I'm saying? All that, all that, all that little, you know, uh, uh, rapping and shit, all that singing, all that stuff ain't gonna matter in that time. Because people gonna want to know what's going on, right? Why is this happening? You see that? It's gonna be a great awakening, man. Right. A great shaking, man. Right. They to come. You know, once they make this thing here mandatory, right. man. Right. A lot of you window shoppers, man, gonna finally come to the man of the Lord, and you're gonna realize in that day that was that was popular among you, started when I had a pastor on. <laughs> you know, hey, the Lord said, when it's come to pass, and surely it will come, yeah. then you should know that a true prophet been among you. The Lord gonna make sure of that, man. Everything that you, every all, every scoff that you made, every thought that you had in your mind, talking shit, the Lord gonna, he gonna make sure you remember all of that, man. Yeah. See? Yeah. I take no new sleep. <laughs> you, know, you guys out here, you know, teach that the MOT be the same. And all that. Wait till they make this thing. And a lot of Jake is already losing sleep now. That's why they're coming out, trying to break down Revelation chapter 13, verse 6. They're breaking it down wrong, put it, add a twist to it. Right, 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 right. You see that? Because Jake is losing sleep. A lot of people in this in their congregation are falling away. See that? So, yeah, man, you know, the day has become, it's going to be a great, a great, a great ship, man. A lot of explaining to do. <laughs> a whole lot of explaining. Yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. 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 the tears of the week. Let them go together. Yep. Yeah, bring it up. Go ahead. Yeah, bring it up. Verse, uh, verse, Matthew chapter 13 and verse 30. Let both grow together until the harvest, right? Harvest is that what? That in time, right? And at the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, right? The angels, right? Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. Yeah. Because hey, some tares. Not only are uh, 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 Edomites, but it's two thirds in there too. Yeah. Right. Two thirds false prophets. That's right. You them, uh, you them spiritual tares, man. That's right. And he says, "Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn." Yeah. So what you're seeing now is all these, all these groups. The Lord, the Lord letting us grow together, right? right, right, right just right, to the right, end right. of the harvest, and they even right. pluck out his wheat and put it and put us in his barn. Yep. And we see those, that separation happen. Right. The spirit is separating, you know, the chosen from the, the tares, right? right. You know, so they're being set aside, you know, for destruction, and the, the chosen are being set aside for salvation. Right. Right. I'll get this real quick. You got it, brother. So, uh, Micah chapter 3 and verse 5, it reads, Thus said the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry peace, and he that put it not into their mouths, they even prepare war against him. Because what they're ultimately doing is declaring war against Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, right? right. You know, whenever you move in a way that's contrary to the Lord, you know, you're, you're, that's a direct uh, disobedience, man. 
It says, therefore, night shall be unto you, that ye shall not have a vision. And it shall be dark unto you, that ye shall not divine. And the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. Then shall the seers be ashamed, and the diviners confounded. Yea, they shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer of the Most High. Because they're not going to have answers when these things start to come to pass, man. Right? They've been lying to their congregations for years, upon years. Getting money. Right, exactly. Getting money. Right. You know, so they're going to be confounded you know, when the, the people start to come to them asking them, why am I being presented with this at my job or else I'm going to get fired? How come I can't eat without getting this device? Right? All the plagues and festivals that are coming to pass. All these things is what's going to confound this man, ultimately tearing down the, those uh, various organizations. Right. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 20. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. Yeah, I have to you know, all you, you know, all you false prophets out there, man, you guys in the church, right? You damn fake evil Israelite groups out there. You're ready to be destroyed, man. You see that? Because a lot of these groups, you know, they speak in the names of other gods, right? They tell you, you know, time to take trouble is you know, gay, is it gonna happen? You guys are ready to be destroyed, man. Least our uh, prayer of repent. But you know, going back to the brother of uh, uh, Father Walker, you said that this prayer, a lot of you guys are ready to be man. Right? Once they finally start shutting everything down, you know, a lot of these Israelites you know, told you to go ahead and take the, uh, take the, uh, you know, the Vaseline, and a lot of people in the congregations died, man. You know, so once they make this MOTV here mandatory, a lot of you guys are going to be sitting there looking dumb, man. Yeah, them new, them new lockdowns are coming, man. Oh, yeah. We already in the midst of phase two, right? And, 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 and what a, what perfect timing in the midst of so-called Labor Day, man. Cause, Cause, they already telling you that from this so-called Labor Day holiday, these people that, that got the uh, the disease, they're gonna spread it. Yeah. They're already pushing the narrative in the media right now, scaring the shit out of people, man. That's right. Wearing the mask, yeah. all that. Uh, you lockdowns, it's all coming again. Yeah, that's right. And these next lockdowns is gonna really set this place off, cause people ain't trying to get locked in the house again. Oh, yeah. Right? That was a time of depression, anxiety, suicide. Uh, suicide rates went through the roof. People really got messed up over these past lockdowns. So when they bring this phase two, like we're in the midst of right now, it's gonna get popping out here, man. Right? Give me that, uh, did we finish out that Ezekiel 12? There should be a little bit more in there, right? You know? Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 22. So the man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying? Yep. The days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Yep. Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord power. I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb right, in Israel. Right, so the Lord said he was going to cause that saying, that proverb, to cease. Because the mindset of our people is that, look, we got all the time in the world to continue to be wicked. The Lord ain't coming back. That's in day until generations from now. But all this stuff that's popping in the earth right now clearly shows you that we're in the last seconds of this thing. Man. Right? The Lord said what? That I should come as a thief in the night, man. When the Lord returns, it's going to be unannounced. The Lord ain't going to have a banner in the heavens saying, look, I'm about to come. He's just going to show up, and after that, it's judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Doomsday clock is already saying what? Midnight. Midnight. Right? Showing you that we in the end of this So all, all of these scholars, all of these nuclear physicists, scientists, all came together, and they like, look, the clock is now, what, a minute from midnight, yeah. or two minutes from midnight, whatever it was. Showing show you that, what, 90 seconds, yeah. right? 90 seconds for midnight. So that shows you that we are close to what? World War III, nuclear war, which is going to be the hellfire that's going to melt away this place. That's right. According that's right. to prophecy, man. Right. Read on, not. I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. Yep. But say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. <laughs> the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. Second, that's just the ninth chapter. The, and the Lord said that he was going to bring the end with what? Effects and signs. Right? Read on now. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination with the house of Israel. Right, so the true prophets, the true men of the Lord ain't out here to blow smoke up your ass, man. We ain't out here to tell you, to make you feel good. 
We out here to instill the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in your body, man. Right. right? Give me that real quick in uh, Corinthians. Uh, what's it? Uh, Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Yeah, give me that real quick. Right? We ain't out here sugarcoating nothing. We ain't out here trying to be politically correct. We are here to tell you the will of our Father in heaven, man. Go ahead. This is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse eleven. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men. See, we know the terror of the Lord. That's right. And we're persuading men, speaking what? The men of Israel, man. That's right. You so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and also you are Israelite foreigners that believe on his word as well, man. We're compelling you to come in, to repent, to get right, to turn from your wicked ways. Read on, now. I want to say, you know, the most high, he's the king of terrors, man. Right, Alan Shadia, so that demon-like power, man. So we're telling you individuals. Yeah. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We are made manifest unto the most high. And our trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Right. So knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We're, we're compelling, we're, we're compelling you individuals to come in and be sealed, man. That's right. All right, to partake of the divine feast. Which is going out by the way of this truth, this knowledge, man. Because right, hey, like like it tells us in Matthew what 22, we're bidding them to the marriage, man. And then when you go into that word bidden, it means to call, basically to call upon those that are worthy, yeah. right? Because remember, and that's in the same very marriage, you had you had people that entered in that wasn't right too. Yeah, they were making excuses, you know, telling you know uh, that they got a damn uh, uh, field to sell. Right, a wife and all that, man. You know, so a lot of people, they're making excuses. They didn't man. have the time. Yeah, yeah. I got that real quick. This is uh, Matthew 22, verse 8, red letter Yahweh Shah speaking. Matthew 22, verse 8, it says, Then he said unto his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. And this is why when we come out here, we try the spirit, we try the spirits by the spirit. Yeah. Right? To see who can get it. Who's able to receive this thing, man. Right? It says, verse 10, or verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. Right? So that's why we out here. We're compelling those to come in. Right? We got the table set up. We got the food prepared. We got the wine. We got the milk. We got the bread. Come ye and eat. It's all spiritual. Right? Verse 10. Right? Matthew 22, verse 10. So the service went out. So the service went out into the highways and gathered together all and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests, right? So you got a lot of Jakes that's in this thing that ain't right in the spirit. They said good and bad. Then he tell the, uh, the, the, uh, the apostles, the disciples to, to cast out that net? Give me that real quick. To draw in the good and bad, right? You know? You got it? Okay, come on. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter uh, 13, and we start at verse 47. It reads, And again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. Which, like, which when it was full, they drew to the shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast away the bad. Hey, so you throw a net out, you just throw it out there and it, it covers everything, man. That's what the word is doing, right? The doctrine shall fall like rain. It's touching the whole earth right now. So everything is getting pulled in, but then what's happening is the spirit is sifting through you know, the, those good fish and throwing out, you know, the stingrays and the sharks and the, the shrimps and crabs. And you're throwing those all back, huh? That's right. I'll tell you it all. St. Matthew chapter 13, verse 49. So shall it be at the end of the world. Angels shall come forth and, and serve the wicked from among the just. Yep, it's going to be a separation. You know, just like, just like we read in that chapter, how the Lord is going to separate the, uh, the wheat from the tares. Right? Go ahead. St. Matthew chapter 13, verse 50. And, it, and shall cast them 
And to the furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. So a lot of you so-called black stocks, you know, they're crafty, man. You know, that's not right in the spirit. Right? The Lord eventually is going to sift you out, man. You know, and a lot of our people today, you know, a lot of people, you know, they know that they're Hebrew Israelites and all that. It's more about just knowing, man. The Spirit of the Lord got to be working with you, man. It has to be something with you in order for you to understand this stuff. As a matter of fact, can somebody grab it, Revelation? You know, the Lord has to be something with you individuals in order for you to grasp 100% doctrine. It's like our elder mentioned, right? The table is pretty much set. The food is here. <laughs> you know, the milk, all of that, man. Well, a lot of our people, they, they don't want to eat, man. Find some kind of excuse here. So you see Jake come up all the time, right, and hear the word, and they be like, you know, I'll be back and never return, man. You know? Got this Isaiah 55, verse 1. It says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, because you can get a brother to give John 4. I think it's verse 14. It says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the water, and he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine and milk without money and without hearts, pretty much the same as you. You know? He says, freely give, freely receive. Right? Because this isn't a thing of, of, of coming to making price, making merchandise in the ministry. Right? This whole thing is to give this word out freely so that the elect can receive it and come and serve you how about Chanel shot. That's right. Yep. This is the book of St. John chapter 4, verse 14. I forgot it, verse 13. Yahweh uh, Shah answered and said unto her, Whoso drinketh of the water shall thirst again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of, of water springing up into everlasting life. Pretty much going to this wisdom knowledge and understanding that said, uh, a well of everlasting life. The scripture also say that you know, he that believes upon the Mashiach out of his belly shall overflow rivers of living water, going referring to this doctrine. That's right. Isaiah 50, but the, the point I want to get out of that was pretty much that this, this truth is likened to, uh, to food and also drink. You know? right. Isaiah 55 and verse 2 it says, Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for and your labor for that which satisfieth not. Alright, the, the stuff that's, that's not going to this group. You know, it's with not down the stem. It says, and That's what scripture say, all this matters. Right? Solomon did all these great works, but he came to the realization that it was all worthless, right? Without the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it's all of not. Right? Because we know all this is about to be destroyed anyway. Right? Continuing on, it says, Hearken diligently unto me. And eat ate that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fat is going to abundance. You see, because it's more than enough to eat in this truth. I'm going to skip down to uh, the point that I want to get. It's Isaiah 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. All right, pretty much, you know, inquire. How do you inquire of the Lord? You go, you go to his men on the highways and byways. All right, start from my head, elders and apostles going down. All right, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. All right, like I said, yeah, the, 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 the 12 chapters, you know, before the, uh, the perilous yeah, times yeah, come, yeah. so you want to seek the Lord while, 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 it's, uh, while it's, uh, his word is readily accessible. Well, you still have a chance. Um, yeah. Right, before the destruction, you know, takes hold and takes grip. Right, before that wave of prophecy washes over, you know, before Esau comes at, at you with full force of his final plans, right? Right, take, take good heed of what you're hearing and receive this word while you still can, right? Right. Yeah. The place of repentance is still open for you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Right? Because hey, we do serve a Lord that hides himself, man. You see, but the Lord, he's pretty much revealing himself now, man. Who who the prophet? You see that? Right. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his start. That's right. So if you're wicked, man, you, you need to forsake your way, man. Right? Stop eating shrimp, pork, crabs, block. Not calling yourself black and all that, man. Forsake your way. That's right. See? And let it flop. And the unrighteous man starts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. You. That's right. So if you, know, if you turn, you know, turn back to your wickedness, the Lord is going to pardon you, man. From your wickedness, man. Look at us. You know, this is what we did. 
you know, we heard the word, right? And we uh, uh, prayed and repented, man. I'm going to say, could the scripture say that, uh, you know, that the Lord is great in his mercy? Got a quick precept. Let's go on into that. This is uh, Psalms 103 and verse 12. It says, as far as the east is from the west, so far, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us, pretty much according to the mercy that the elect is going to receive. You know, the scripture also says that the Lord's hand is not, um, not short that it cannot save. That's right. Psalm 103 and verse 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us after our sins. And the scripture say in uh, Psalm 1, uh, 130, you know, if he was to mark uh, transgressions, you know, who would stand. It says, nor reward us according to our iniquity. For as the heaven is, a, is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Verse 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. The whole, the whole point is that the Lord's mercy is attached to those uh, that fear him. Huh? So without the fear of the Lord, you're not going to receive that hand. You're not going to receive that protection. Right? You're not going to get... Uh, you know, your sins cast in the, uh, into the sea, man. Right? That's the whole reason we're fighting the way we fight, man. Because we want to have that mercy. We want to be found worthy to not have to take part you know, in all these terrible things that are about to come upon the earth, man. I got to put the up for you. Hold book 21. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19, straight to the point. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the time of repression shall come from the presence of the Lord. You see that? So just, you know, back at the book, you know, what the brother said, man. Now's the time to pray and repent, man. Right by the doors of mercy are still open, man. That's right. Because you see, you know, as the brother, you know, we've been getting into the lesson. Those doors of mercy are closing, man. All right? If you mention out the time to up, you know, within itself, you can see that everything is coming to a halt, man, real soon. Right, so my thing is still open. You should definitely be repenting, man. Right, with the hope that you will uh, uh, be forgiven for your wickedness, man. This is why we do things like, you know, going to the Sabbath day of atonement, right? Because we need repentance, man. You see? Yep. Yeah, start at the top, first verse. Read mm -hmm. nice and loud for me, too. Uh, this, this is Luke chapter 21, verse 1. And he looked up and saw, <clears throat> saw rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also certain a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said of a truth, I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of the most high. But she, but she of her pit, penury, pit, uh, penury, hath cast in all the living that she had. She gave everything she had. Yeah. Go ahead. And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, as for these things which we gave, behold, the days will come into which there shall not be one, and the which shall not be left one stone upon another, and shall not be overthrown or right. thrown down. Right, all these prophecies are going to come to pass. Go ahead. Verse 7. And, and they asked him, and they asked him, saying, Master, well, what shall these things be? And what sign would there be when these things shall come to pass? Right, right. So what are the signs? All right. The disciples were asking the Lord, what are the signs that you're going to show us that determine the end in, 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 your, in your return? All right. Because that word sign in this verse goes back to the Greek word uh, uh, eon, which means uh, the end of an age. You know, matter of fact, go there for me real fast. There's some more to it. This is the word for sun. And it says, a sun marked token. It says, an unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature. An unusual occurrence transcending the common cause of nature, which we've been seeing all these world events play out that are uncommon in nature. So these are signs that the Lord is bringing, telling us that he's about to return. 
that heavy judgment is about to play out on the earth. A lot of people are about to perish. Read on. Uh, inside the definition? Yeah, inside the definition. Going back. It says, of signs portending remarkable events soon to happen. Of signs portending remarkable events soon to happen, which is what? The judgment. Nuclear war. World War III. All right, civil warfare, racial tensions, the society collapsing, the, the economy crashing. These are the events that are, that are set up to go down. Go ahead. It says, it says, miracle, sign, token, wonder. It says, of miracles and wonders of which the most high authenticates the men sent by him or by which men prove that the cause they are pleading is the most high. Exactly. Those signs authenticate the men that are out here speaking. The men that are speaking these words, all right, it authenticates them that they're, what they're speaking is true, all right? That these men were really set up by the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Washah. These are the true prophets, right? And we had that, and that's determined through those signs, man. So you go back and read out. Luke 21 and 8. So you can't, you can't ignore the signs, right? It says, and he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I'm Hamashiach, or Mashiach. And the time draw near. Yeah, and the time draw near. Many oh, wow. many individuals will come with the Bible, man. Come in, come in the name of the Bible, deceiving many, claiming to be the Messiah, the Holy Spirit. We've seen all types of bug outs pop up, man. Yeah, a lot of women out there, you know, call themselves, you know, uh, right. yeah, I was shy's wife. You got one woman out there saying that, you know, uh, she's the Holy Spirit. You got right. another woman out there that's saying that she's the Messiah herself. Right, right, right. You know, so you got a lot of people out there, you know, uh, calling themselves, you know, Jehovah Shai, man, the Messiah. Yeah. You know? Another nigga saying he King David. Yeah, going on. Bugging out, but the Lord said that this was going to happen yeah. in the time of his uh, arrival. Read on now. Uh, it says, go ye not, therefore after them. Don't listen to them. Yeah. Stay away from them. Go ahead. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass. Yep. But the end is not by and by. Right, because we're in the beginning stages. Go ahead. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Right, all this is happening. Nation against nation, America versus the world. Right. Iran, China, Russia, NATO, NATO versus uh, 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 NATO versus Europe, or whatever. No, NATO versus Russia, Salaki. Right? All these different nations, hell, nation against a uh, uh, kingdom within kingdom, going here in America, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, political views, religious views beginning to clash. Go ahead. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. We've seen that, thousands, twenty thousands, people just dying instantly. Yeah. They said that Maui wildfire. They said the body count was like over, I want to say like two hundred people. Yeah. Hundreds of children are missing. They wonder where the hell the children went. You know where the children went. Oh, yeah. Fucking with Esau. You already know where, where them damn kids is at. Yeah. Probably got sacrificed, snatched up, yeah. organs harvested. You know how America rolls. Go ahead. And famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Yeah. yeah. Got blood moon, right? Blue moon. Yeah. All kind of stuff is happening. Prove it to you that we are in the last days, man. Yep. Jerry size. Jerry yeah. size increasing. Last, last summer, you had all the planets, like eight planets, aligned with each other. Yeah. And that and that was something that didn't happen since, like, I want to say, like the 1800s or something, man. Yeah. You know, something like that. It had been some years. And then, too, a few years ago, you had uh, 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 NASA, 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 NASA pick up on that large chariot right here and right towards Earth, man. See that? Yep. Verse 12. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and to prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Right, right, right. The synagogues, the kings and rulers, going back to who? Amalek. All right? The so-called Jew. These are the kings. These are the nobility. When you read uh, uh, Isaiah 13, it said that the... Uh, Pretty much that the word, the standard has gone up to the gates of the nobles. Yeah. Right? The nobles is the nobility. These are the kings. The prince of this world, man. That's right. Right? It goes, it, 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 go, it all ties back to Amalek. Right. When you look it up, it mentioned in the blue letter, the uh, they called it the, uh, 
they called it the the, the, the Jewish uh, Sanhedrin, right? Which is a body of uh, pretty much which is, it's a body of Amalekites that pretty much run this system behind the scenes. They're the ones that's really in power. They're the ones that really control the government behind the scenes. So when it all goes down, we're gonna be brought before them. Read on. Verse 13, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your heart, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Yep. I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain say no resist. Right, right, right. The Lord has given us a mouth of wisdom which none of our adversaries can gain say or resist. You can't come against this thing, man. That's right. They know that we're speaking the truth. All right? That's right. Go ahead. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. Yeah, because we're in that time of persecution. Hold John 15 on that too. All right? Especially when they when they smear us as they've been trying to do. But at the end of the day, guess what? No matter what this devil says, that narrative is not going to stick at all. All right? Go ahead, huh? It says... And some of you shall they call to be put to death. Yeah. That's why the, that's why the spirit was on uh, Elder Apostle the bar to prepare your mind to be a martyr. That's right. That's the, that's the reality of, of what we're involved in, man. That's right. Right? That, and some of us may have to see death. That's right. But at, but at the same time, guess what? There is no loss in Yahweh Shah because those spirits are going to be raised up. That's right. They're going to be raised up first to be in them chariots with Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. They're gonna be uh, uh they're gonna be prepared with them new bodies. See what I'm saying? Remember, Yahweh Shah defeated death. That's right. All right. Go ahead. We ain't gonna die anyway. That's it. See that? I mean, unless we die, right? But our spirit, man, is gonna, you know, it's gonna live on. That's right. You know, so there's nothing to fear at the end of the day. So I can tell you that uh, 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 as as any of them been confounded, man, they haven't called, you know, uh, pretty much worship me, but the prayer place in Right. Father. Right, so Go you ahead. gotta prepare yourself for the times that's coming, man. So we can talk about the book of Revelation, right? How John the Revelator, he saw certain men that will be beheaded, man. Verse 17. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Could uh could brother get um Isaiah 59 and 15? Uh, I'm reading more in the back. It says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Pretty much going into uh, how it says in Isaiah 59 and verse 15, you know, he that uh, departs from evil, making himself a prayer because the direction that this world is going is uh, in the course of the NWO. So, where this devil wants to have full control, you know, he's going to introduce that corrupt. Uh, this is the book, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 15. Ye, true prayer, and he that departed from evil, making himself a prayer. Ah, because uh, pursuant to Isaiah uh, the 60th chapter. The earth, the earth is in gross darkness, all right? Uh, gross darkness to people. You see, so everybody is in that obscure darkness going into uh, being without the truth, you know? And so, you know, when the Lord saw it, and it pleased him that that word, that was with no judgment. That was pretty much the point. We get that, uh, Proverbs. So, Proverbs 29 and verse 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Mm -hmm. So pretty much righteousness is adverse to wickedness and, and vice versa. So pretty much that's why uh, uh, Esau is going to be seeking to, to um, put some brothers to death. All right, going back to the, this verse, uh, Luke 21 and 17, I'm reading again. It says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. You know, pretty pretty much because uh, uh, brothers believe on adoption, believe on the Mashiach. I'm going to keep going. But there shall not in hair of your head perish. It says, in your patience, possess in your soul. Ultimately, you know, uh, um, how you how you possess your soul, I'm going to go into the word possess real fast. When you go into that patience, though, we've been commanded to wait. You know, watch and wait, as well as break. Right? Hey, be still and know that he is, man. Right? You can't take things into your own hands. At the end of the day, you got to let the Lord do his work. I, I got, I got, it wasn't nothing in, the, um, in that letter, but I got another version. It says, Luke 21 and 19, NLT, it says, by standing firm, you will win your souls. All right, and, and how does the elect stand firm? 
because they, they're firm, they're rooted, they're established in Hamashiach, that rock. All right, I'm gonna get another one. It says NIV, it says stand firm and you will win, win life. And you will also go into that, that word stand in Hebrew, doesn't to like mob, which means to, uh, to continue. All right, so continue uh, in the path of righteousness. This is the book, First Thessalonians, chapter four. And I'm gonna start in verse. Uh, I'm gonna start in verse. I'm gonna start in verse 15. And it reads, "For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which asleep. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout." with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the most high, and the dead, right here's the point, and the dead in the Mashiach shall rise first. You see that? So you individuals, man, that are put to death, right, for this testimony, he's gonna rise with Yahweh Shai first, man. Right, so there is no death. See, because we're ultimately gonna uh, uh, get victory over death too. Continue on. And we which are alive and remain, right, because let me tell you that, you know, There'll be some standing here that won't taste death, man. Right. See? Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. And how are we going to be caught up? We're going to be beamed up, man. Right? It ain't going to be no ladder. Right? It ain't going to be no damn suspension system that's going to, you know, uh, uh, nah, man. Right? We're going to be beamed up by the chariots of the Lord. That's right. Then we which are uh, alive and remain shall be caught up with them in the clouds that's right to meet the lord in the air and so shall we forever be with the lord that's right see that and i mean this is company here man let's continue on first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 18 wherefore comfort one another with these words you see so it don't matter if you put the death right or you know or if you see the day of the lord man right you're still going to be comforted man right you're still going to be beamed up yeah, yeah. Did you bring that out in Wisdom of Solomon the third? Hey, Shalom, my brother. Shalom. Yes, sir. Good. I got Wisdom of Solomon 5.2. That's a good one, too. Whatever, yeah, whatever we want to bring it out first. Because y'all, we talking about what? Yeah, beamed up and no loss and, and dying in the Lord, basically. Right? Go ahead, we want to bring it. This is Wisdom of Solomon uh, chapter 5, I'm going to read verse 1 and 2. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors, right? Verse two, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, right? So that's how the, the enemy, when they see, you know, Jake getting beamed up, they, they're gonna be like amazed, like what's that? They're gonna be in fear, right? It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, right? Because it's going to look strange, right? To, to not the common eye. It's going to look strange seeing Jake, yeah, see Jake get beamed up into the clouds, right? right, right. It says, and he shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. Right. Right, because because that the salvation of the elect, how it's going to happen is, is unheard of. Right. People are not going to expect that, man. That's why, according to uh, was it First Corinthians, the twelfth chapter, roughly paraphrased, it talks about when we speak these things, it's foolishness uh, to them that, that, that don't have a uh, uh, that does, that don't have the discernment. You know, these things that we speak is foolish unto a natural man. But we're telling you, when the Lord comes back and delivers His elect, this is how it's going to happen. Right. It's, it's going to be of a divine uh, deliverance. Right. You know, hey, without the Spirit, man, these things are unimaginable. Right. You can't even fathom. You know, chariots coming and beaming up, you know, these men that you see on the highways and byways week in and week out. Right. Right. They can't they can't imagine that, man. That's why it's gonna, you know, seem like such a strange occurrence, right? Right. Right, just real quick. So Revelation 18 and verse 4. All right, it reads, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, yep. that ye be not partakers of her sins. That's the voice of Yahweh Shah, man. Right? Come out of her, my people, the elect getting beamed up. Go ahead. Come out of her, my people, that ye that ye be not partakers of her sins. That you be not partakers of her sins. We're talking about America. So the Lord has given us a chance to, to make it out from this shit, man. Right. By the way of salvation. 
and that ye receive not of her plagues. Woo, that you be not touched, that you be not, uh, that you receive not of her plagues, man, because the Lord is about to plague, the Lord is plaguing this bitch right now, and then ultimately he's going to physically destroy it. All right? That's what's, hey, that's how this thing is going down. Right? Get that one in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the third chapter. You can really start at the top. The Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. That's right. And there shall no torment touch them. And there shall no torment touch them. So you have certain believers in Yahweh Bashim al Shai that are not going to get touched. And the Lord said, there's some be that be standing here that shall not taste of death. So now everybody's going to die neither. It's a balance, right? You're going to have some that are going to be martyrs. You're going to have some that are going to make it all the way through. And you read this in other translations. It talks about how the elect will feel no pain, man. So even if you find yourself in the lot of a martyr, you're not going to feel the pain of that death. Right. It says, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Yeah, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. All the hell we catching, right? Go ahead. And their departure is taken for misery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you, you was out there teaching all this time and it was all for nothing. You know, he died. Nothing came out of him. Read on, right? And they're going from us to be utter destruction. Read on. But they are in peace. But so really, that individual is in peace, right? He's already in the spiritual world. Right? He's, he's going to be raised up with Yahweh Shai. He's going to be in a new body. He ain't got to suffer no more again. So really that man is in peace. Go ahead. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yep. yet is their hope full of immortality. That's the, and, that's, and that's the comfort. Though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their end is, is full of immortality. Because if we are part of the elect, guess what? We're going to live forever. And we're going to rule over the nations, man. We're going to be part of the governing body that's going to establish the law, statutes, and commandments, and righteousness on the earth. Right. So there ain't no loss in that. Shit, I'll take that. Yeah. Right. Go ahead, Ox. I got a quick reset. This is the book, you know, just back up what you said, you know, what you quoted earlier. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 16, jumping straight to the point, verse 28. Very, barely, I said to you, there be some standing here who shall not taste death. That's right. Till they see the Son of Man coming. Yeah. So just backing you up, man, you know, there'll be certain men that's not going to taste death. You see that? But, you know, going back to what the elders say, it's a count, right? Because the scripture say, you know, that there'll be some men, you know, that's going to be marked apart. There's certain men that's going to be beheaded, man. You see that? We're not uh, receiving the MOT. We're not worshiping this beast system. You see? But at the same time, there'll be some men that believe in Yahweh Shalom Shah. They're not going to taste the death. Now, we all pray that you're a part of that lot, right? But testimony, you know, is that there are certain men that's going to be destroyed, right? But it's okay. The you know, scripture tell you to uh, fear not the sinners of death, right? Because we're going to be with the Lord anyway. See, that we're going to be with Yahweh Shah for beamed up first, man. Right. right. Either way it goes, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's why the scripture say comfort one another with these words, man. That's right. That's right. We got comfort. We understand. See, an uh, 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 average nigga don't understand what happens after, after this life. He thinks that look, you just you just die, you go to back, you just fade to blackness. Nah, man, life goes on. That's right. They 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 you know that kind of interpretation of the church put on a uh, burning for eternity. Yeah. Right. We know that's all. Yeah. That the destruction will be right here in Babylon. You know what you call America. Exactly. Like they showed you in that old school movie Tales from the Hood at the end when them niggas burned in hell. Is this Harlem right. shaking in the fire and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, old buddy turned into Satan and shit at the end. Welcome to hell. Yeah. Nigga was sweating this shit. That shit was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that shit was fucking crazy. Hey, I put that in the video about the hell doctor. Esau uh, uh, strike my video, man. Because I put that scene in there. That shit was funny as hell. You know? But anyway, go ahead. I'll read on. It's Revelation 21 and 4. It says, The Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. All right now. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there no, be. <laughs> Woo, go ahead. It says neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. That's right. 
That's right. So uh, as it says, man, you know, our hope is full of immortality. That's what's coming, man. Right, right. So no more death, no more pain, no more crying, no more tears, man. Right? So that's that's what makes the suffering worth it. Right, that's right. So wisdom of Solomon chapter three and verse five. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. Woo! Having been a little chastised, they should be greatly re rewarded. That's right. Yeah. Just it, a little bit, man. It's just, a, just a sprinkling of, of chastisement that we're going through right now. Man. That's right. Now, uh, Romans 8 chapter talks about how you know, these current sufferings can't be compared you know, to the kingdom to come. Man. Right, exactly. Right? So we can't even mention them in the same breath. You know, that's that's how you know far ahead you know, that we're thinking. Man. That's right. And when you think about it, we're really not living anyway. Right? You got brothers that get all, all kinds of infirmities and stuff that's going on about them. You know, so we're not, you know, this is not our kingdom. See that? Where's he going to stop? Bacon, food, everything, bacon. Yeah. They don't even know what he's eating on no more. Yeah. Like air, like water. Hell yeah. 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 It's a fake society, man. We want, we want a real world, man. Yeah. Like we were bringing the other day, uh, pretty much the clouds and stuff like that. Yeah, it's all types of aerosols and chemicals in the sky. You look up, that ain't no fucking clouds. That's just a ball of fucking chemicals and aerosols and shit, man. Come on, man. Then that shit, the metals. Bro sent me a video today about all the metals that's in the body, man. And that comes through what? The food, the water, right? The things, the substance that we take in. Our bodies is full of metals, man. So when Esau get the activated shit, right? He, like the Edomite, he said, Imagine putting an aluminum foil in a microwave, yeah. and you see what happens when it, when when, uh, when foils and that shit just explodes with fire. Yep, that's why we be burning the hell up out here, man. Yep. Come on, man. So this place that we're living in, you know, I mean, she can tell you that uh, a rise in the park, but it's not the rest because what? It's polluted. We yeah. got to get the fuck out of here. Got to get out of here. If the Lord didn't speed the days up, no flesh will be saved. That's right. right. Days get short. That's why you've been seeing on record, we've been hitting some of the fastest, you know, the fastest year. All right. On record. You know, on record. You know what I mean? You see, the elect, we see it. We see it like with our spiritual eyes, right? Because you know, be part of the elect, you got a day to see, see up here. You know what I mean? And when there is no vision, we perish. Yeah, but that's part of having the mysteries, man. That word mystery breaks down to what? To, to the to the initiated. Not not uh, what did it say? Not revealed unto ordinary mortals. Right? So that's heavy, man. You got that? What you got? So wisdom of Solomon, chapter three. That's verse 5, and having been a little chastised, they shall greatly be rewarded. Yep. For the Most High hath proven them and found them worthy for himself. Right, and we're, and we're in that, uh, uh, right now we're in the midst of the proving, the, 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 uh, the trials and tribulation, man. Right. And Lord willing, we pass, we pass the test. Because it's all about what? Being found worthy. Back in Luke 21. You know? That's right. That's right. That's right. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 6. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation they shall shine. Yep. And run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. Hey, that's the new bodies. That's that spiritual power, man. The Lord is going to do miracles. There's things that's going to happen on the earth that the earth has never seen or witnessed. The Lord said that what? That that there's uh, that you should do greater works than these. So there's, there's works and miracles of the power that the Lord's elect are going to do that Yahweh Shai didn't even do. Because remember, it even tells you that hey, some of the works that Yahweh Shai did wouldn't even, uh, couldn't even be con uh, contained in the scriptures. So they, it, it ain't no telling what the Lord about the elect, have the elect doing out here, man. You know? You got it, brother. This is the book of uh, St. John, chapter 14, 
I'm gonna read verse 12, and it reads, Verily, this is Brad Levy, I was last Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on the like, he that believeth on me, the works that I shall do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he, shall he do, because I go to my father. There you go. Greater works than these. And when the men of the Lord get that type of power, it's going to be to exalt Yahweh Shemel Shah. That's, right. That's what it's about. The fact that we out here teaching is a form of power. All right? To what? To exalt the names of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah, man. It ain't about us. You see? It said because he went into his father, man. All right? So as a result of Yahweh Shah's sacrifice, you know, we're, we're going to have an opportunity to receive that power, man. That's the only way we can get that, man. Uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 7. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. That's right. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. Woo! So hold up. That's the reward. We're going to have immortality. We're going to judge the nations. We're going to be kings, man. Oh, yeah. right. We're going to be the judges of the earth, man. Right. Ain't no loss in that, man. That's right. So the hell with a nigga got to say. We talking about dominion over the planet Earth under Yahweh Bashimel Shai, man. Right? Having power, man. Alright? Breaking these, these nations with a rod of iron. Alright? That's next level, man. And the Lord is about to put us back in our uh, in our rightful position as the kings of the planet Earth. Yes. Right? I can. You got it, brother. Bring it up. Bring it on. Um, this I is the book. Uh, we get Revelation 2 and 25. Yeah. Right? This is the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. And it reads, but, sorry, but they which have already. Take your time. It's not here. Yep. Revelations 2 and 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Yep. Verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. Right, so who is the Lord talking to here? He's talking to his people. He's talking to the Israelites, man. Starting with the elect. Hold fast till I come. Meaning what? Hold on to the doctrine you've been taught. Right. Stay faithful. Right? And he said, what, that, that uh, uh, he that overcometh is the same that I'm going to give power over the nations. Man. Read on. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Go ahead. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Yeah, so that's, the, and that's what you call dominion. The Israelites are going to rule over the nations with a rod of iron, man. Right? That's the balance of, of the Lord. Right? Just as we as we serve as servants and slaves, the nations are going to serve as servants and slaves. This is the book, Isaiah 14, I'm starting at verse 1. And it reads, for, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. You see that talking about who the Israelite born. Yep, 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 yep. But tell you no. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place in the house of Israel. They say the house of everyone. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And how we're going to rule over our oppressors with their rod of iron, man. Right? We're pretty much going to rule over our oppressors. Right? This is uh, 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 this is living right here, man. Right, and the Lord's going to give us rest. We continue on in that. Yeah, read verse three. Verse three, and it reads Isaiah fourteen and three, and it shall come to pass. That it's like in the day of the Lord, it's like in the day of the Lord shall give thee rest, right, from thy sorrow, from thy fear, and from thy hard bondage, wherein thou was made. 
serve. You see that? The woman's thrown in the heart for captivity. The woman's thrown in the bond. You is a lot of time man. Right, so in the kingdom of heaven, right, the roles are going to be reversed. Right, Esau's going to go from riches to rags. Right, and we're going to go from rags to riches, man. And it's written all right here in the scripture. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. Right. That's right. Esau was promised the fats of the earth. That's why he was the king now. And Jacob was promised the kings of the kingdom of heaven. Genesis speaks about, right? The kings of the kingdom of heaven is what? What we're doing right now. And having that dominion, man. You know? So, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, and verse 8. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. Who is this? The Israelites. This is what's coming in the world to come. Go ahead. And their lords shall reign forever. Mm -hmm. If you want to get it. Right? That's hey, that's part of the transition of power that's coming on the planet Earth. So-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and Hispanic are about to rule the world, man. Whether you believe that or not. That's said the scriptures, man. Right? The Israelites, man, they're gonna get put back in their proper position. Alright? And this is and this is what Esau and these nations don't want. But they ain't stopping it though. Right? Was it Daniel 7 and uh 18? This is the book of uh this is the book of Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. Yep. Not ask politely, but take it. Right. Shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever, even ever and ever. Right, right. That's it. That's self-explanatory, man. Yeah. We're gonna take the world, bright burn, right? right? You know, the Lord. Hey, didn't the Lord tell us in Jeremiah uh, uh, chapter 50, 19 on down that that you were gonna be the battle axis and weapons of war? The Lord was gonna use his men to basically take down the nations, man. Right? right? He's gonna use them as uh, 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 as weapons, man. All right, to to take down the forces of the Gentiles. This is why Esau is prepared with his super soldiers. You know, his uh, his futuristic technology, all of that. Because he knows that this is going to happen. In his mind, he's prepared to go to war with Yahweh by Shemel Shai and the elect. But as we know, the story on how that's going to play out. You know? He don't stand a fighting fucking chance. You know? Come on, man. Easy work, man. Easy work. So, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. That's right. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he shall care for his elect. That's right. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Beautiful. Hey, that's, that's it. They're going to take care of the, the elect. It's all about the elect. The scripture said that the elect shall praise his holy name. That's what it's all about, man. The remnant. You know? Grab another one. We go back. We got another scripture. All right? Get that one in, uh, let me think about that one in Isaiah 65. Get that Isaiah 65 in verse, uh, it says, how it says, my elect shall inherit it. Inherit the mountains. Uh, Isaiah 65 in verse, uh, bear with me. Yeah, start at verse uh, 8 and read to 9. Isaiah 65 and 8. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not. Yeah, yeah, that's the elect. Go ahead. For a blessing is in it. For a blessing is in it, man. Go ahead. So will I do for my servants' sake. That's right. That I may not destroy them all. That I may not destroy them all, man. All right? The Lord is the Lord has always preserved a remnant. That's right. All right, of Jacob. Go ahead. Verse 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and my elect shall inherit it. Woo! See that? An inheritor of, of my mountain. And what did it say? The elect what? And my elect shall inherit it. And my elect shall inherit it. And my servant shall dwell there. And, I, and my servant shall dwell there, man. So it's all about the, the elect receiving the kingdom, man. That's right. It's all about the elect being sealed in these last days, man. That's why we hope. If we got, do we got that sign? Pull that sign uh, behind that one, right? Because that's what is at the end of the day, the bottom line, or or the conclusion of the matter, if you will, 
it's all about the elect, man. Two right. two thirds are destined for destruction. That's a lot of Israelites that are about to die, man. The hundred and forty-four thousand being what? The, the prophets, man. The, the prophets are the one that's putting in the work. So that what? That the one third can be sealed, man. So that's what it's all about. The Lord ain't saving all the Israel on this side, man. Right. They got to be reborn in the kingdom of heaven, and they're going to come back through the loins of the elect. Right. The Lord told us in what? Isaiah 60, I want to say like one of the last verses, if you will. He said that all of my people should be righteous. You know? You're supposed to add anything. You got anything to add. Yep. This is the book of Colossians chapter 3, jumping straight to the point, verse 12. And it reads, put on therefore as the elect of the most high. Holy and beloved, holy vows hey. and mercy. Hey, John. Kindness, hey. humbleness, love is patient. Meek, love is kind. Hey, 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 Relax. Read it again. You know this you is the book of Colossians. Hey, read the book three. And I'm going to read verse 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of the most high, holy and beloved, vows of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. So you're supposed to put on as the elect of the most high, man. And if you're not doing that, Right, and the most high he's going to also destroy you, man, because the Lord is only dealing with the elect. You an Israelite, man. I don't know if you ever heard that before. If you don't repent, you're gonna be destroyed. I'm you, you know, you know America's about to get destroyed, right? Do you believe that? We ain't in the process. According, as, according to the Bible, this place is gonna get hit by nukes. We will get hit by nukes. And if you're not right with the Lord, you're gonna die with this it, place, it, bro. In the prophecy that America Give me the prophecy. Give me second Peter prophecy, third chapter. Man. I got it. We're going we gonna to sober him up real quick. Let's sober him up real quick. Hey, you ain't listening, bro. Dead ass, brother. Listen, bro. Hey, he, hey, he telling the Excuse truth, the though. He telling, he said, look, they ain't listening. Excuse my language, bro. You know? They ain't listening. Everything's bro. spiritual. Let's give him the scriptures. Then the prophecy, bro. This is the book. Second, Second Peter, third Peter, chapter. Yep. Chapter three. Second, hey, hey. Please. This is the book. Just listen. Just listen. Of Second Peter, chapter three. This is all prophecy. We ain't, we ain't up here making nothing up. Go ahead. This Start at the 10th. Start at verse 10. This is the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. Go ahead. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. That's right. In the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise. What, what, is, what is that great noise? Nuclear missiles hitting they the earth. Go ahead. They, they, they listen. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Oh, that's not gonna happen. World War Three. We in the midst of World War Three. The, the missiles ain't been launched yet. That's why Russia, China got missiles aimed at America as we speak right now. Like the thief in the night. Yeah. And the no earth also, and the works that no are therein no shall be burned up. All the works, of, all the works of America, the Babylon world. the Great, are going to be burned up via nuclear destruction. Go ahead. Verse eleven. See then, if all these things shall be dissolved. Yep. What manner of person ought he to be in holy conversation? So, 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 understanding that the Lord is about to burn this shit up, how should you be conducting yourself in these last days? Right? Is Go that, ahead. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I'm wrong. Just listen. Go right. ahead. In all holy conversation, the Lord God, back. looking forward and hastening to the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt. So according in the New Testament, in the future, which we're in them times, it said all the heavens are going to be dissolved in fervent heat. Those missiles that they're going to launch on this place have the temperatures to reach up over 15 million degrees. So this place is going to be melted off the fucking map, according to prophecy. Why? Because this place, America, is wicked. This is a place of Satanism, pedophilia, homosexuality, transformism. All these things are pushed here against the Lord. This is Babylon the Great, according to the Bible, brother. Go ahead. This is the book, my Second hey. Peter chapter three verse thirteen. We've let you know because hey, you were Israelite, brother. Hey, say it again. Go ahead. Please. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth. We waiting on this. We can't wait till this place go, because this place is fucking wicked. 
Go ahead. We're in, brother Christ. So we waiting for Yahweh Shah, who the world even calls Jesus Christ, to come and establish hey, yes, the kingdom sure. of heaven on earth. Yes, sure. Yahweh Shah. Ain't no ease in the Hebrew. I don't know no ease, but yeah. I say Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. He's coming. Yes, yes sure. He's coming. Yeah, Moses. We got some guy. Like, like, like. No, no. There's, there's two people that get they get taken from the Lord, bro. Look at this. Check this out. This sign right here. Look at this sign. It's not even a check sign, this sign. No, check this sign out. Are you Moses? The people that's gonna be delivered are on this sign right here. We all can be included. Look at the sign. Take your head down. It's loud, it's all good. I mean, you can snatch them up whenever you feel like. No, go ahead, do your thing. No He's not truck. bothering us. We just not using not them to edify. That's, that's all. Listen, like, like, I went to school for this shit, bro. Like, ain't no church. Ain't no church. The church is right here. This is the church. This is the church. This is the church. Just Christ and say, no, fucking Baptist. None of that. No that's not in. That's not in the Bible. It ain't in the Bible. So you got some. Exactly. So you know something. Right? Babe, relax. Ain't no fucking Lutheran. None of that. Baptist. None of that. None. None of it's, that. It's a church. This is a church right here, brother. Exactly. And see, that's why, my brother. Right. They ain't gonna listen to us. They ain't gonna listen. But guess what? There's one church. One place where we come. No matter white, black, one church. One church, my brother. That's it, man. Just hey, before you step out of here, just remember that you're an Israelite, bro. And the name of the Lord is Yahweh Shah, not Jesus Christ. Exactly. How many brothers, uh, how many sons of Noah have? Three. Spread all over the world, right? How many brothers were black? Dark. Came hey, from. I got one, bro, man. Right? You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not committing no crime. It, it doesn't matter. And everyone thinks it's good. But 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 he only coming back for one people though. He only come back for one people, right? I I can see him. I I can see the eyes you look. I mean, see the eyes you look at me. Just do your research, man. In your spare time, you still in college? You in school? Nah, I'm out. All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, hey, you better be ready. World War Three on the horizon, bro. And guess what? Something I don't agree with, I'm kind of afraid to be like, I don't agree with you. It's all good. Exactly. But if you don't agree I'm according afraid, if you don't afraid. agree, if you don't agree according to the right doctrine, the Lord gonna destroy you. No, no, and no. You in the no, military. No, 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 it's different. Let me tell you something. No, no, it's different. You getting ready to get thrown in World War Three, whether you realize it or not. And you getting I ready am. and you and, that, and your am. military and your Guess military what? is preparing you to fight against the Lord when he comes back. No. That's in the scriptures. The military is ready to fight against whatever, right? Right. But what I believe in, different. You want to look around. Now nah, I'm looking at you, bro. I'm look, I'm, hey, no, nah, bro. If you're looking around, I ain't afraid to look at you in the eye. No, I got to watch my surroundings. <laughs> so it's all good. Hey, whatever they believe, whatever, whoever believe, I don't care. They can say something. You feel like, hey, you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? I be like, yeah, I believe in him. Yeah. Hey, what are you gonna do, kill me? I be like, yeah, I'm already, I'm ready for that. Thing is, thing is, I'm in the military, right? Hey, hey, please read Luke 30, what, what? 2136. Hey, read, 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 I love to hear that book. These are your real friends. They ain't gonna leave you out here messed up like that, man. Hey, Make sure you get a bottle of water out there. Well, you, you, re you receiving the water now, but make sure you get your actual bottle of water. I received the water. Don't get me wrong. No, 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 because I ain't perfect. None of us are perfect. Right now, right now, I'm like, that's how I do. Get me wrong, bro. I'm wrong. I'm still in the wrong. My thing is, I haven't. I'm wrong. Right, we all, we all, we all, we all seek the grace up, of the Lord, brother. You wake up. But this is what it's about. Let me, let me read this to you. Hey, no, no, bro. Give me that. Give me that. Hey, real wait, quick. Wait, real quick. Wait, 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 we wait, just wait, want, wait, we wait, want to leave you with one final message because your friends got to get out of here, man. They trying to. 
Man, I ain't worried about that. I'll stay here all night, bro. Give me that. Go ahead, man. We, hey, we just want you out. Hey, we hey. want y'all to have a good night, man. That's all. Hey, y'all can go. Go ahead. Give them this scripture real quick. Feed the brother real quick, and then let, let them handle their business. What? 21 and verse 36. 36. Go ahead. Read. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Yep. That you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall. That's what it's past. about. We supposed to be watching hey, 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 that we be able to catch and escape all these things and get ready to come hey, to pass. Read it again, Paul. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. What's about to happen? Hold on, let me ask you. What's about to happen? Do you know what's getting ready to happen? Do you, do you know what's getting ready to happen? It's coming back, man. That, but that, but look, what's going to happen before the Lord comes back? Famine, mass death. You got the global elites, who you call the Illuminati. They getting ready to, 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 hey, to shut America down, right? They coming with famines. They coming with race wars, civil unrest. They coming with I'm everything. I'm not worried about that. That's the thing. You should be worried about that because no. if you don't know the Lord, you're not going to be covered when it, when there's judgment the in the Lord. streets. Don't get me wrong. I love it's going to be murder. It's going to be lawlessness. Yeah. It's going to be purge activities going on in the streets. We when it's living happening. in the law of lawlessness. And when they crash the money system, the economy, that's going to be the new form of currency. I ain't worried about lawlessness, bro. You should be worried, brother. I know. I'm not. If you don't because know the Lord, what? you're going to die, what? brother. That's what we're trying to no, tell you. Guess what? Uh, all us brothers, we're going to leave, right? And ain't people going to stay here and spread the word, right? I ain't perfect. Dude, I'm going to let you know I'm a sinner. I love Jesus Christ. I love the Lord. My brother, I'm telling you, I love the Lord. You want to think I'm a sinner, and I understand that. You're a sinner too. Right. You wake up every day, right? Right. A dude come talk to you and be like, hey, man, speak my language, man. fuck you, right? Hey, I love you. But a dude, a Sideways, you be like, all right, bet. I'm gonna come talk to you sideways, right? We wake up with sin every day. Right. But we wake you know, up with it, sin every day. But if you don't know the Lord and the Spirit of Truth, you're not gonna be saved. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No, we wake up with sin every day, bro. Guess what? Finish that off one. Hey, my brother. Hey, because we, hey, we got hey, just like how they gotta move, please, we gotta hey. move too. Hey, no, read I, one more I, time. I, Luke chapter 21. Keep on yep. doing it, man. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass mm -hmm. and to stand before the Son of God. That's all that's all that's all that's all we out here. That's why we out here, brother. Wait, wait. Read Romans 12. Read hey, my brother. Hey. Yeah. We just hey, wanted we, we wanted to we wanted to feed you real quick before we got hey, out of here. No, man. Hey, my brother, you are Israelite. Hey. You are Israelite. You need to repent, brother. Hey, my brother, I, I will repent. I repent every day. If you ain't hey, part please, of the elect, hey, hey, if you're not part of the elect, brother, bro, it's death. That's what we're trying to tell you. It's not a game. Hey, please read Romans 12, my homie. Hey, no, bro. Hey, no, bro. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. All right, Y'all take it easy. Take it easy, brother. Make sure you get some water. Get some water in your system, man. Hey, 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 give me your phone real quick. I'll read Romans 12. It's all good. Nah, bro. Nah, dog, nah, li listen to your lady, brother. Y'all go ahead and make a movie. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll read Romans 12, bro. Make sure he don't drink no more tonight, man. Uh, hey, no, no, it's fine. Hey, my brother in Christ. I ain't saying I'm perfect. No, no. Hey. All right, hey, we pray that your brothers out there was edified. We're going to close it out by giving all praise, honor, and glory oh, to Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught us his truth. And double salutation to all you Akim out there laboring in the house of David, the elect, that's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom to the elect. Kwam Yashala. Ababa Ball. DTA.